Hey everybody, welcome once again to another episode of The Hang. Thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time, um, The Hang is in the name. We're just hanging out, you know, talking about shit. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, uh, I'll get to who, who we're talking to later. Uh, but if this is not your first time, welcome back. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to talk too much about myself, cause uh, that that could be that could happen another time. Uh, let's just get straight to the episode, shall we? Uh, let me give a couple of shout outs first. Uh, you know, I try to switch up the order. Who went last? <laughs> who went? Who went first last time? Who went last first time? I don't remember. But let's just start with uh, my together, cause I see uh, the, the info right in front of me. Um, if you don't know my together. Is a uh, mental health clinic founded by Jean Carlos Sorio, who is uh, who has been a guest on this podcast before. As a matter of fact, like two podcasts ago, I think uh, he was on. So go check him out. Um, the website for the place is mycigarettepc.net, and uh, they're located over in Forest Hills, 108 14 72nd Avenue. 108, I think, is supposed to be a street, right? If I'm correct, right? For you, uh, Queens. Queens folk, you know, apparently Queens gets the money. That's the thing, I guess. I heard. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, hit them up. Uh, you know, they have all different types of uh, what do you call those people? Uh, professional, professionals who uh, were trained to listen to you. You know, because uh, as much as I love my friends, they're not good listeners. <laughs> and if they are, then they, you know, everybody has their biased opinion, and. Um, you know, these people are not, uh, they're not your family members, they're not your friends. Sorry to break it to you, but uh, they'll give it to you straightforward if they do give it to you. And half the time, you know, it's just really you, you're there to um, find your own answers. I'm trying to find a, the good spot because you guys hear that buzzing, right? Figured it's because of the fucking lights that I have and all the ele- electric shit around the room. Um, so, yeah, go to mysogetherpc.net. Not dot com. I've been saying dot com this whole time. I don't think that website exists. It's a dot net. Uh, next, shout out to Hook Kickboxing. Uh, there are two locations here in Queens once again. Uh, cause if you didn't know, this is where I live, <laughs> and this is where I go. So, uh, Hook Kickboxing. I went today, and uh, it's cool. It it was cool that first of all, I was lucky to be the the not the first guy, the only guy, the only person there, and uh. You know, when it's times like that, you basically get a personal trainer all to yourself for whatever, 45 minutes, an hour. Uh, and, you know, just a little, just a little, you know, I, what I always say that high intensity and small training is the best to burn fat. And I feel like I definitely did that this morning because uh, I was just, it, it sounds simple as fuck to just do like 100 punches and then do a one push up. And then do 90 punches and then two. And, you know, you guys get the deal. But so by the time you're doing only 10 punches, you're doing 10 push-ups. Uh, but, you you know, unless you, are like, are already up there as far as, like, strength and endurance goes, um, it's, not, it's not as easy as it sounds. And it's the same th- with thing with kicks, you know. Um, it's like for every 100 kicks, you do a squat or something like that. Uh what do you call it? Some type of squat. I don't even know what it was, but it was some type of squat on the wall. Not a wall sit, but you're actually uh, trying to raise yourself up. Um, but yeah, enough enough about my day, right? Uh, <laughs> go to go to dot com to check them out. You can get your first trial class for free. And what the fuck? That, that just came back in. Is that my headphones? Or is that the ghosts? They're trying to fuck with me. All right. Um. So yeah, go to amsohook.com. There's also an Instagram page. Uh hook underscore kickboxing. Oh shit. <laughs> I haven't I haven't uh seen their page like lately in the past like couple weeks. Uh but I am pretty sure it's um it's hooked underscore queens. That's what it is. It's hooked underscore queens. Um, and yeah, definitely go check it out. Two locations over one in uh, Glendale and one in Union Turnpike, 
fresh metals. And there it is again. Uh, okay. Um, just don't don't mind me. I'm sorry, guys. This is this is already too long of an intro. But there is a uh, two more couple shoutouts that I do want to give. Um, shoutouts to Crash by Lisa. You guys already know. Already know. Um, that Crash by Lisa is the place your go to place for customized anything. And uh, if not, she'll still help you out one way or another. Um, so go to on on Instagram and Facebook crafts underscore by Lisa or just crafts by Lisa, L Y S S A on Facebook, and definitely check it out. Check out uh, the Etsy page, so you can see all the stuff that she's already made. Yeah, it has for sale, or like I said, customize something. You know, it's always cool to have your own your own stuffs. Um, hey, last but not least, this is a special shout out to uh, my friend Chris Paul. Yeah, the basketball player. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't think he's ever. Um, I don't think he's ever been in the Northeast for a long amount of time, other than just to play a game. You know, he's a North Carolina guy, and uh, he's played in New Orleans. He's played in, in in Texas and in LA. Why am I talking about like Chris Paul? Like, like we know each other. My, I meant to say it's Chris Paul Morales, my friend Chris Paul Morales, who's been on the podcast, actually. Um, he is actually in the process of trying to get a, a film started. So I'll just read you a little bit uh, about the um, venture that he's doing. It's, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm, I think it's supposed to be like a play on, like, it's supposed to sound like fuckboy. This, but it's like fuck ball, something like that. It's fuck fuck boy Dave. I I I do. Heard <laughs> they tell him that it's a shame he had to use my name as a fuck boy. Uh, but apparently it's uh the guy's a hero, and I don't want to give too much about it, too much, too many details away. But uh, hmm, that cable did something. All right, but uh, yeah, go to um if you don't know Chris Paul's Instagram thing, it's. Uh, Chris Paul Morales, all one word. And same thing on Insta- uh, on Instagram, Facebook. Um, and yeah, go check it out. He has a indie go go, uh, fun thing. You know, like a GoFundMe, but it's another one. <laughs> it's another type of funding campaign thing. And yeah, go check out the um, go check it out. Uh, you know, help out however you can. Um. And you know, it's just you know, let's get let's get uh let's give some help to the indie people because, you know, it's, right now it's kind of fucking crazy. Like, just trying to live out your dream <laughs> if you're not you're in Hollywood already and shit. Um, no one wants to work there, right? You know, with all those pedos and the blood drinkers or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh let's support you know indie filmmakers uh chris paul morales is one of them so once again there's actually a, a whole page for this it's spelled f-u-g-g-b-o-i-d-a-v-e all one word or you can go to chris paul morales's uh instagram page and uh pretty sure that's like the first thing you're gonna see so either uh chris paul morales or Fuckboy Dave, F U at F U G G B O I D A V E. Oh man, that was uh, definitely longer than I wanted to uh, make this. Sorry, <laughs> but thanks for waiting. Now we're finally gonna get to the guest, which, uh, if you don't know, who Don Rubix is. He was on the podcast back in. Um, you know, it's funny. Like we link up every time some shit goes down. And it's kind of inevitable to talk about it because um, I don't like talking about the same old obvious shit. But um, I guess, you know, there was no way around it. Like, we just had to talk about the shit that had just happened the day before, basically. Um, and even though this is being released on the 14th, sorry, it's like a week late. Literally a whole week late. <laughs> um, don't worry, you know, you're finally listening. So, yeah, this happened. If you don't know what happened back in January 6th, then uh, what I usually do is go on Wikipedia <laughs> and look at the uh, famous events that happened on that date. So, go uh, 
you know, go check out what, what happened that day, if you don't know. And uh, yeah, I'm going to play a little something of his, too. Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure I, uh, you know, I want to brag, but I'm pretty sure I helped them record this, or at least start it, you know, the start of the recording process. All right, damn, 10 minutes in, I'm still fucking blabbing on, all right? Enjoy the song. Enjoy, the, enjoy Don, you know, in our conversation. And, uh, Don Rubik's, could you tell us a story, please? Well, sure. What do you want to hear? How did you get so much power? How? Well, it's not a pretty story. Tell us, tell us. All right. Let's go. 1980s Japan developed a plan that most can't understand. Overnight, Wall Street on oversight to strike first with a cobra bite. Take over. Backseat of a black Range Rover watched over by a paid soldier. Huh. High risk, high stakes involved. If the public knew, they'd be appalled. But it's not for the years, though. Up of the highest peak, come be the side of me. And luxurious enterprises, right here at luxurious enterprises. So long to my enemies, there's no one left but me. And luxurious enterprises, right here at luxurious enterprises. Feels great, real estate all over the place. Home base got its own taste. Midtown all towered up, suit and tie all showered up, girls powdered up, competition all sour, but when you snooze you lose, there's no foul on us, nope, inside information is a part of the game, if they knew how to play then they'd all do the same, came in with a clear target, ganged up, now we're cornering the market, plus investments in stocks, shutting down the blocks and the mom and pop shops, we're taking it down. Building this town from the ground up IRS staying around us with me, there's no surprises Gotta show love for luxurious enterprises Free up of the highest peak, come be the side of me At luxurious enterprises, right here at luxurious enterprises So long to my enemies, there's no one left but me At luxurious enterprises, right here at luxurious enterprises Live, we're on everything. So, uh, welcome, welcome everybody. Um, what's what's, what is today? Today is uh, January 7th, right? January 7th, Thursday, January 7th. Yeah, just to kind of put it into context of what's going on. Uh, so welcome, welcome, Don, once again. Good to be back, you guys. Yeah, if you guys seen other episodes, Don's been here before, and um. Yes, <laughs> it's like every time you hear, bro. Yeah, it's like I don't, I don't know if it's coincidence or like what's what's going on, but it's <laughs> yeah. like some crazy shit happens, like right before you, you get here. Where man, yeah. some earth changing, <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck, and then everyone's like, hold up, we gotta gather our thoughts right, right now. Yeah, I'm so I'm glad that it happens to be you though, because you yeah. know. Appreciate if it. you want to be the corresponder of the Hang podcast that brings us uh, some good, I guess, insight. I'm not, I'm not, you know, putting pressure on you to be the expert. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be the, the voice of reason or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Try, you know, which trying is to be nice. the average man or some shit. No, nah, but it's it's cool though that you're here. I mean, if you're not, if you don't know what's going on, <laughs> just in case you don't, I'll cat, you know, I'll fill in the blanks. Um, so I guess the, uh, the Baltimore Ravens are playing the, the Titans <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, there's three games in a, in a day in the playoffs or the NFL for the first time ever. Super Bowl's supposed to be coming up soon. It's right. Really, oh, it's going to be a weird Super yeah. Bowl. Right. By the way, somebody stormed the Capitol. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. That of course. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys heard about that too. And I think Steph Curry scored 62 points. Oh, yeah. Which I is a big <laughs> deal, and I didn't hear a word about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, that's nice, but, but what's this shit going on over here? Yeah, yeah, so which is crazy. I mean, I thought Instagram would have updated me. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely, um, I guess, the past 24 hours for us is, um, you know, that's, that's another thing, too, man. It's like, uh, like today, it's just... You know, you just get all this information at once mm-hmm. that you don't even got time to like 
sit down. I think this is the first time I'm talking to somebody about it. Word? Yeah, so you never get time to sit down and, like, process w- what happens because there's something, like, the next hour. <laughs> Things are just know? moving so fast. Yeah, and like, shit is crazy. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, what's, uh, like, how have you been, I guess, like, handle it mentally, I guess? You know, since yesterday, yeah, because like, I know, yeah, because I know some like, people or di- a lot of different people are kind of reacting to it different, you know. And I'm not gonna lie, man. Like last time I was here, um, I mean, we were talking about like, yo, what does it mean to be an American? And shit, or no? Right, right. Like, who's this country for? Well, shit, we seen, <laughs> we see, we got <laughs> yeah, the answer yesterday, crazy, man. man. Yeah. Definitely, man. I'm, and it's like I'm not even sweating it, bro. I'm like. I was sitting there watching the news, flipping through channels, popcorn in hand. Like, oh man, this shit is this shit is better than the last Star Wars movie. Yeah, you know? right. Like, <laughs> this shit. Shit is good. Yeah, fuck Netflix. So, just turn on the you know the news. Yeah, this is Yeah. But I don't know, everyone's like, Oh man, this is this is the terrible, terrible day and live on in infamy. I'm like, yeah. man. All right. What what the hell did you guys expect, man? I, I think by now, like, do you agree that we're a little numb to shit like this now? Because I mean, to me, it's a big deal, but <laughs> like, I'm not making a big deal out of it. Some for some reason, I mean, I don't. I feel like that's the same thing for other people. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's definitely a big deal because, like, n- not only us are experiencing. I mean, the, the whole world got some shit to say about it. Like, right, I seen I right. seen the French president sit there. He was he was like, yo. There, there was a woman who died. This is not the America we know. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, shit. Like they, they were just protesting like last year, the other year too. We were like, yo, what are they, what are they doing in France? And right. Now the shoes right. on the other foot, man. So it's like, yeah, man, it's, it's surprising it happened, but the past four years, everything f- feels like, yo, shit was just building up to that point, man. Right. Like the media was like, yo. Black Lives Matter, Antifa, they're they're like terrorist thugs. <laughs> then we're like, oh shit! All right, you're gonna you're gonna keep killing us, calling us this, whatever, mm. man. We'll we'll keep pushing. But now the shoes on the other foot, and then the same people who were like poking fun at, at like, hey, yeah, George Floyd was just a drug addict. Now look 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 at the situation. Right? Man. Yeah, it's crazy. And, and it's like the media definitely fueled all this shit, bro. Like. You put on Fox News yes at yesterday they're talking about yeah it was mostly peaceful protest CNN <laughs> CNN's like yo the, these guys committing treason they they're trying to threaten democracy and it's like man even after all that shit what have we learned man right <laughs> like, yeah yeah it's <laughs> like you know you try to think back back to the summer i guess exactly you know when you were here last time yep uh it's like, yeah, that was, that was, um, like to me, that was just very historical. And that's something yeah. that was, you know, going to be cemented in the minds of people forever, no matter what side you're on. <laughs> and then now it's kind of looking like, did that even happen? Like, you know, like, uh, you it know. feels like it happened like two, three years ago, man. <laughs> right. like, last year was so fast. Shit, yeah, like exactly. you're saying, shit kept every day something new. Right. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to, um, it's hard to just process anything, and even if you want to, um, like, even if you want to ignore it or pay attention to it, it's like you kind of forced to just, uh, I guess, accept it. You know, unfortunately, it's, it's the word. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you know, you could have an opinion or not, but it, it's like, you like, know, like, <laughs> like Charles Cambino said, man, this is America. Yeah, like everyone, everyone started. I bet the streams went up for that song again after yesterday, man. Right, but it, I don't know. It was like it was a sight to behold, man. Because when has that shit ever happened in our lifetime? Right, right. Where, like, fucking, even if even if they're like on the wrong side of history, they they're they're Americans at the end of the day. Like that's default America. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> that's. That's what everyone says. Like, oh, that's pr- that, that's what Americans look like right there. You see what it is, and it's like, even though it's like it's cr- some crazy shit that went down, I gotta respect it, man. Because 
I was like, yo, at this point, man, China got us by the balls. And we, <laughs> like, if they right. came through right now and they were like, yo, this is our shit now. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, like, oh, true, we, true. we'd probably just be mad pussy and just give it up, like, mad easy. Because, <laughs> like, cause, like oh, shit, after, yeah. after all we've seen, like, even, even the protests last year, I mean, they beat their asses, but I felt like, man... We we still had like we sh- still should have had like a lot more fighting us man because yeah that's true, they though. put us through some bullshit but it kind of died down of course we right, stopped talking yeah, about of it course. but at, at least now I know like okay if 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 a foreign country pulls up they try to take our shit at least these these motherfuckers were crazy enough to run up in yeah the, the I guess you're right <laughs> you're right about that you know but it is it, it is sad to see like damn I was hoping our our side do that shit man but oh right <laughs> but right like, <laughs> yeah yeah so I guess but they they got like that diplomatic immunity because you know that is default America motherfucker yeah that's man. true though so right. they can get away with it yeah we kind of did uh, touch on it last time a little bit like yeah how certain certain groups of people like uh just generational like just yeah just going back many generations that's just kind of what has been i just taught in their families and like that's how that's how it is you know and to them that's just normal shit (laughs) it's and it's yeah and it's just crazy like um to them it's like you know this is what's supposed to be happening like this this is this is our american duty yeah, uh, man. And it's all right, and that's why we're gonna, <laughs> gonna do it. It's know? crazy, man. They'll they'll bleed for the 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 flag, like like that shit is mad important to them, man. So it's right. like, damn, like yeah, man, they, they 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 really feel like yo, this is our country. We're we're about to lose it. So now <laughs> right. they're now they're desperate, and I mean the memes were. We're, we're hilarious man it's yeah, like, yeah thanks for that at least yeah that's that's definitely a, the best like that's the positive side of instagram yeah <laughs> that, you know it's like the new uh you don't have to be working for a newspaper <laughs> to, to make a political <laughs> i guess satire uh what do you call it like uh yeah, illustration yeah there you go and then it the goes word. viral and then everyone's sharing it yeah. suddenly you're, you're a journalist now right yeah there you go hey i, I think i'm a journalist over here with my <laughs> Two microphones and computer. <laughs> as long as we speak in the truth, man. Yeah, that's true. You, as you can see, there, there's like, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm watching the news today, and it's like, damn, man, y'all still trying to divide people even more after all that shit happened. So I'm like, all right, what's gonna happen in four years then? Because right. every, everyone voted for for Biden and and Harris. But it was like, yo, it was more of a, a middle finger to Trump. Like, yo, fuck, fuck <laughs> yeah, Trump. We don't, we don't want you anymore. We're going with these guys. What? And we're forgetting, like, oh, 1994 crime bill. Jo- Joe Biden trying to lock up yeah, as many right. people as he can for drugs. Kamala Harris locking people up for marijuana. But fuck it. We'll take them. <laughs> At least it's better than Trump. Right. So then people forgot, like, how do we get Trump in the first place? <laughs> yeah exactly like, right. like in four years these same motherfuckers who were kicking down the doors in the capitol building they're gonna come back maybe even mobilize even more and be like yo let's get this candidate and you know fuck the democrats bro we take the power back <laughs> and then it's like we on a fucking giant swing going back and forth then it's gonna be another four years like right i mean yeah. for as long as i've been alive that's kind of what it's what it's been anyways is like you know, yep. people get tired of the Democrat and they just, you know, they think the Republican's the answer and it just keeps going back and forth. Yeah, I guess we're old enough to, like, we finally, it finally clicks now, like, oh, this is what's been happening, man. Like, right. It's like a seesaw <laughs> or some shit. And at the end of the day, it's like, man, you guys are basically the same shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I it's agree. like a polarizing effect, man. Like, every four years, the polls switch. Cause right. like every um four years ago um it was Dem- Democrats were like upset and crying in the yeah street. exactly I didn't remember that yeah and they're like how is <laughs> this happening and now it's like oh now it's your turn like <laughs> like oh shit how this happened yeah <laughs> yeah for sure I was actually I was hoping to you know I understand like uh you know people are busy um and you know things happen 
But I was hoping to get you after um, after the election. I was hoping you could come by. Oh, yeah. Just to see, you know, what kind of you thought and how your, I guess, thought process was on that, too. Because it's like, <laughs> that. I, I mean, that was only, once again, just like two months ago. And it feels like so much happened since then. Yep. <laughs> well, as far as that, man, I felt like all the chips fell into place, man. Okay. Like, since the 2020 began, all the bullshit started. You're like, wait a minute, something ain't right. How how the fuck Kobe die? Right, <laughs> in, right. In a helicopter crash. Yeah, shit. How the fuck we almost going to war, World War Three? How how the fuck is this um pandemic coming out of nowhere and shit? We got to stay home now. Yeah, yeah there's a lot. I, <laughs> honestly, for me, that's like, even if fraud did happen, man. Like, you got to hand it to the mail-in ballots, man. Yeah, you you have right, to, bro. Because yeah. yeah. it's like, you literally had, like, uh, what, I think months or weeks in advance to, like, send your shit in. And right. everyone who's sending it in is like, oh, well, I f- fuck this guy, Trump, man. He's, he can't handle the pandemic, none of this shit. <laughs> right. he he's, he's racist as fuck. You know, we, we, all these ballots are going to him. And like as you see it play out, you you waited so long for election. You watch the b- debates and everything. Everyone everything's at a fever pitch. Now you're like election night. Like oh man, what's what's, what's about to happen? All right. Ten o'clock. Like shit's going down. Looks like um, what Trump's about to win. But then it keeps dragging on to a point of like it was like a week or something, right? Like they were, yeah they exactly were yeah. I've never seen that happen before. So then yeah. I'm. Honestly, bro, like, I'm, I, I, like, I tried to do so much growing last last year, yeah. where it's like, all right, I gotta start putting my myself in other people's shoes, cause right, there's right. nobody seems That's to be good. connecting and shit. But now I see like, this shit could have been avoided, especially yesterday. If at if if people are saying if you got like basically, cause it's not like ten Trump got ten supporters or some shit. He had like, <laughs> I think oh, 70 million or eight, mm-hmm. almost 80 million people voted for him. It's like a good portion of America. Yeah, it, it's not a close race for no reason, you know? Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so if, you, if those people are saying like, wait, we, we think some fishy shit went down, you know, at least give him the, at least give him the, 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 um, it's like, the, 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 I guess the pleasure maybe mm-hmm. of, of knowing at, you guys looked into it or some shit. At least do oh, an, right. At least do yeah, an yeah, audit yeah. or something, so you can say, "All right, but you're, you're already saying that there was no fraud." All right, so you're confident in that? Just show them the proof, like how they did in um, you know, the impeachment trial for Trump or something. They right, were showing that right. shit all day, like all these people, like, um, like, oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't do this. Or Supreme Court justices or whatever, like, going through everything, all the evidence and. And then that 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 passed, and like it blew over. All right. <laughs> so at least if you got so millions of Americans saying like, "Hey, at, at least investigate this shit," but instead the media is like, "Nah, you guys are crazy. Fuck out of here. You, you fuck that bullshit." They, those motherfuckers are gonna get angry, man. So, right. Like if if right. I well, if I, I had like <laughs> as, us as minorities, if we had a voice and we're like, "Yo." There's there's some injustice going on. We we want you motherfuckers to like at least look at it, and if they say no to us, we're gonna be like, yo, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> like yeah, so yeah. it's like yo, it seems like they're trying to make everyone angry around the same time and shit, man. Yeah, I mean, so, I I hate to like, I I hate to think about this, mm-hmm. but I feel like any little shit could start a literal civil war. Cause it's like it's already you know like the half of it is already there ready yep. to kind of pop off basically yeah. the other half just needs to kind of follow along and it could be any little thing like I mean I think I think about shit like uh I mean I, I don't I'm not the biggest history guy but mm-hmm. I do remember like I think it might have been like junior senior year of high school we learned about like um basically like the whole deal with Cuba and. The missile crisis and when you know, uh, bad pigs, pigs and all yeah. that good stuff. Yeah, uh, it's just like one little thing, like one little like to me it was a lie. Like 
you know, somebody <laughs> said a lie just to get things popping. And it's like, and then, you know, until like kind of recent, I guess, it's like Cuba has been the bad guy to the USA yep. and vice versa. So it's like. And like what yeah. the CIA tried to kill Fidel, like, right? Yeah, hundreds it's just of times. like, yeah, exactly. And it's like, you know, just one little thing could have been different, and you know, shit could have turned out different. But um, yeah, I feel like that's something that could happen again for sure. Maybe you know, obviously it's not the same type of fight, but unfortunately, if anything, it's like within ourselves, so it's even worse, you know. Yeah, and yeah. that's that's why all the countries are looking at us like. What you like, gonna do next? <laughs> like you guys are supposed to be the shining beacon example right. of like, oh, democracy. We all trying to be like you, right? And now you're like, oh, they already people. People already had like a, a a way of looking at Americans. If you're like from another place, like, oh, these motherfuckers are arrogant and shit, <laughs> right? But but now it's like, damn, these motherfuckers are not even united and stuff. Yeah, it's like, crazy. They're fighting amongst themselves destroying their own communities their their own capital building like yeah. honestly man like the capital building shit man like because <laughs> i'm at a i'm at a point where like all right fuck the police but fuck maga but when they're <laughs> right. when they're when they're, it's like that spongebob <laughs> meme when he's looking at the book and both his eyes going both ways looking at this all oh, right yeah <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, right. like, damn, who who am I rooting for in this fight? Yeah, exactly. Though, it's like, crazy, right? It's like, uh, do I side with the government, the state, when the, the same motherfuckers who beat us up all the time? Yeah, or, exactly. Or do I side with these, their race, the racists and shit, and ones who, like, make fun of us when we do die, but, all right. you know, they, they're kind of Amer fellow American citizens, you know? Like, if they, if they got right. the balls to do this shit, that's something to learn from, man, like. Yeah, it's saying it's saying crazy to just yeah to just kind of try to process. <laughs> yeah, and um, cause I I think they they showed like an image um on social media of, like the Capitol Hill building last year I think during a certain um BLM protest right. they had like the whole National Guard on the steps ready right all all in uniform guns out like you guys aren't getting past this and then yesterday it's like. Yo, know, it looked like they let them in, like uh, <laughs> gone, and we're not, we're not right, stop. exactly. Like we on lunch you, break. You yeah. want you want a tour? You want to tour the building? <laughs> like, right. Show you upstairs. Yeah, a couple selfies. <laughs> oh man, that was pretty wild. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Going back to um, like how you mentioned, you know, all countries kind of obviously not all of them, but yeah, most I countries, know. you know, look at America and it's like you said a good example of what I guess. Uh, you know, we should, I guess, be striving towards, you know, good democracy and, you know, it's yeah. about the people. Mm -hmm. Where do you think, or like, maybe, uh, maybe like, maybe if not when, uh, how do you think people ended up, you know, looking at America like that? Because if you think about it, America is definitely one of the youngest countries out there. Yeah. Why is it somewhere in Europe or Asia, like the actual... I guess beacon of hope out there, you bro. Know? <laughs> I I feel like America had it down by design, man. Like they they bounced from Britain, came through, took the land from Native Americans, but they had the benefit of slaves to like for right. hundreds of years to build up wealth, <laughs> and then what the industrial the industrial revolution came through, all the industry was in America. You know, we got the oil now and shit, and um building trains whatever but then the war is really what cemented yeah it's crazy what, what, it's like oh man like america's got the fucking military they got um they're, they're like the the strongest motherfuckers around and then the second world war the nuclear bombs and then it's like oh shit we're, we can't fuck with these guys right. they got they yeah, dropped these true. two bombs on japan like all right we give up you guys got it right. and shit yeah. So it's like, all right, we we showed our force, but now what is it proving, man? <laughs> like, yeah, right. Everyone, That's crazy. Everyone kind of like hates us now. Middle East is like threatening us. Like, oh, motherfuckers, man, keep bombing us and shit. Yeah. <laughs> now even they're looking somewhere. at us like, yo, oh, the 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 citizens are running up in the Capitol building. They're probably rubbing their hands like right. Birdman, like, oh, it's, it's time to strike. <laughs> right. That's what I think, too, yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, 
we got like a lot of egg on our face right now, shit, man. But yeah, sure. It's yeah. like how, the media is really not helping. You could like try to bring people together right now, but you're still kind of making the same arguments. Yeah, and it's like yeah, for sure. yo, shit's about to change. We got Biden Harris administration, man. Be happy. What um, there's there, we everyone was voting for them. They're expecting like what Medicare for all and shit, mm-hmm. some more social programs to benefit, you know, the regular people. So let's let's give them some time and see if they do it. Well, I doubt they will. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt yeah, they bro. will. You're gonna be serving them them pockets of China and shit and and Russia, whoever's like yeah. pulling the strings. Yeah, basically. I mean, that's a sad it, thing. It's like. But I, I want to see, like, I, I really want to see people hold him accountable, man. Because, like, we try to hold Trump accountable with this motherfucker was so, such a, such, such a hard ass and <laughs> so, so much didn't give a fuck. Yeah. We couldn't tell him to do shit. But now, come on, we got, like, a 78-year-old Biden, you know, maybe, maybe we tell, we yelled him hard enough. <laughs> he might... <laughs> You know, you might send that two thousand dollars stimmy our way. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah. It's like you know. Once again, that's another thing that's just like, uh, like I'm trying to think of. Well, first, first of all, give me a second because mm-hmm. the people on Instagram Live are complaining that um, we're not audible. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get back on it. Um, oh man, but, yeah. That's another thing that like I just in that's general, fucking Zuckerberg, man. He's probably he's trying, <laughs> he's to, trying to block he, us, bro. He's like, oh man, these these guys talking sh- shit about our right. establishment. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true though, because yeah, it's, that's 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 a good point that you made. Uh, it's kind of going back to the media thing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just like that's that's one of the unfortunate things that. It's just kind of hiding or being hidden from us. Yeah. It's just like a lot, a lot of shit. You know, when it comes to, uh, what's that? Mm-hmm. When it comes to, like, just, just, I guess, information in general, man. Because it's not just politics. It's just like, it, it's, it's certain filters that, like, I don't know what their agenda is. <laughs> you know, like what, even what? with even <laughs> real shit, man. Because even with the COVID stuff, mm-hmm. like what what are we supposed to do? We want us to stay home or go go? Is it safe to go outside? Is it right. safe to open the schools or keep the schools closed? Or should I wear a mask? Should I not? You you even try and divide people with that shit, man. And it's like right. we're just trying to survive this this fucking pandemic. And that's another reason why some other countries are looking at us like, man, these these guys can't control the pandemic, and and the fucking <laughs> citizens are running up yeah, in the capital exactly. hill. Like, yo, what's wrong with these niggas, man? Yeah, yeah, it's just hard to. I mean, I guess just for the person on the outside, somebody like me, like I'm not nowhere near making any decisions. Yeah, and I don't even know anybody close to like that. I guess level of power. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah. If I did, I don't think I'd be here. You know, you gotta do like a whole bunch of ass kissing to get to that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's you know, that's that's like another thing yeah. that the old, I guess. I mean, I I like to think that these people <laughs> mm-hmm. um, going into the Capitol building do have that. You know, it's just old mindset that like, uh, that like you know. Fox News is the news source, like the news source. Yep. And um, like, you know, the old ways of just like storming a building uh, is the way to go. And, um, you know, just like all these all these ideas of like, yeah, like I guess like your color is better than or my color is better than yours or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just kind of like. I think that mindset is goes all the way around, like in every aspect of their lives, like. For yeah. us, yeah, you know how you know. I assume that when you go outside, you're not like, damn. I hope I don't. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to, like, I mean, I can't not say it in a way that's not offensive, because that's the kind of the point I'm trying to make. But man, we gotta but, be honest. Yeah, with yeah, yeah I'm not. <laughs> yeah, like you don't go outside and like, damn. I hope I don't have to drive next to a Chinese man today. Like, you know, shit yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, um, and I feel like that. Like, I think the even better example is just the Mitch McConnell. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, uh, like I feel like somebody like that, 
Uh, he's not the only one. Mr. I, I, Turtle it's just, Man. Yeah, it just happens to be the one trending right now. Yeah, yeah. But he's definitely not the only one. But it's just people like that are just so stuck in, like, I don't know when. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's like, it's just, it's just like, um, I mean, I, I wish I could say what he's thinking, but I, I really don't. Cause he, yeah, because yeah. it's like a whole g- different generation, bro. We, right. We're not even from that. It's like, who's speaking for millennials, man? Who do we, who, yeah. who did we elect to talk for us? Right. Nobody. Apparently, they're all fucking like over 70 years old or right, close exactly. to 80. And I, I was thinking about that, too. Like, damn, why are they so old, man? <laughs> like, I think the, the minimum age to be president is like 35, but you never see mm-hmm. like some like f- even a 40 year old pull up right it, it, like obama was like the youngest or some shit right exactly but um i was like oh man it, it, i don't know it probably makes sense because um we, like these these motherfuckers are so seasoned that's why they're so old they've been in like congress <laughs> for like 40 50 years right maybe they know how to deal with like the nuances of like war and shit and talking to other tough 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 ass. Um, oh right, like other politicians right, right. in other countries. And I th- I feel like that's just, that whole dynamic should be changed, man. Like, obviously, we technology is is like surpassing these motherfuckers, where they don't <laughs> yeah, know right. like the, the 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 password to their emails and shit. Right. They, they they don't know how to right. open a word document, but they're telling us how to like. How to they're 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 deciding oh what are we gonna do with this nine hundred trillion dollar fucking relief bill all right all right let's give some to this country let's give some over here let's give this little tiny portion of the Americans yeah that's crazy <laughs> so it's like damn like if right. we had some young people who were like even even if you give them a chance to fail even if we fuck up man at least at least give us a chance bro right like have you ever... let us let us get get some say at least. Right, right. Have you ever actually met um, uh, s- somebody who, I guess, majored in political science who ended up just actually being in politics <laughs> throughout their lives? I, I actually know um, someone who was like, um, he was a science major, mm-hmm. and then he got into politics. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was like, what? Yeah. I took like a few poli-sci classes and stuff, but I feel like it. Um, they helped spark like a political mindset and like yeah. some young people and shit but yeah they're just i mean that you know the reason i ask that is because mm-hmm. i i do see plenty of people who do who go down that i guess path in college yeah and then eventually like it it doesn't you know it doesn't definitely pan out. Yeah, yeah yeah and i just kind of ask myself like why i mean I understand as a young person, because, I mean, we're still young. <laughs> we still yeah. we still kind of have, I guess, that mindset of hopefully we can make things better. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I feel like the majority of the people that do major in that like, eventually realize, like, I don't think this is even worth it. Because who, who, like, I just ask myself, who actually wants to be a politician, you know? <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely takes a certain mindset, man, because the, the guy I was talking about who um, was a science major and yeah. he... He was he was like a political um kind of guy who was like he was good at like I, I called him a snake one time because I was like man I peep I peep uh, what you're like doing just how you, like, yeah just how like, you go about like you, you you'd go behind people's backs and shit and like you know make promises here and there or um you know talk shit about someone like behind their back and not <laughs> right. in front of them and I was like man. I know your type, and then yeah. surely enough, he worked in <laughs> politics. I'm Look like, oh, this, yeah, of course. <laughs> so like, even even um even me when I went to LaGuardia, I took business management and shit, and now I'm like, now it's like, I I could start a business, but still I look at the whole, I'm kind of looking at capitalism funny, like, mm. right, like, yeah. you know, like this is kind of like exploitative. <laughs> like right. I, don't, I don't really want to sure. be an asshole towards anyone. Like, because I've had a few bosses. I don't mm-hmm. really want to do that to like anyone. Like, oh, do this, do that. Don't, don't talk back to me and shit. Or right. <laughs> that, that's not the type of person I am. So I was like, right. ah, the business, the business management was a good, it was a good background to understand it at least. But I don't want to be that, you know, billionaire type fucking <laughs> stepping on everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, you, I guess you, as a, 
like after after high school, I think everybody has an idea of what path they want to take because they think, you know, it, it is a certain way, and it's like I'm gonna be happy, and it's not gonna, it's gonna be good for the world, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the deeper you get into it, the more you're like, shit, it's like. It's not what people think. Uh, yeah. Some people stay, some people don't. You know? Yeah. Damn, even um, going back just last year, earlier last year, I was at the point like, uh, you know what, man? Like, let me just get like this, uh, a quick, gov a go nice little government job right. and fucking, um, I was, I was gonna, I was applying to be a, a court officer in New York City. Oh, okay. Sure. So I like did the application, sent my application mm -hmm. fee. I was like, all right, man, like, I'm optimistic about this. You know, it's like, what, 50K starting off? Right, yeah, I think so. But then, like, then a pandemic happened, that shit kind of cut it off, and I was like, oh, whatever. But then the George Floyd shit, and then the whole summer of, like, right. oh, then then it's this a black person got shot. Oh, then this black person got hung from, hung from a tree and shit. And then this black person got shot seven times at Wendy's and shit. It's like... Damn, I don't want to yeah. put a badge on that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Bro, for That's... laughs> you know, like, like I'm good on that job. I'd, you know, I'd rather, right? You know, I'd yeah, rather sure. be a farmer or some shit at this point. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. right? But then, even I mean, I don't want. I don't want to make it sound like every single job out there is bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even, like, even like you said, like something that sounds so peaceful, like a farmer, like even they're getting fucked by like Monsanto and you know exactly. all this crazy shit. They're saying, yeah. oh, um. Oh, you got this livestock. You know, you can't use them no more. All right. Here's here's buy our product, sell sell that and shit. All right. Like, and damn. Like, yeah, yeah. And where's their protection then? Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I'm yeah, like, it's crazy. yeah, nigga, storm crime <laughs> Congress. I don't want to sound like you like uh, do it, but that's those are the motherfuckers right. who are like making those decisions. They're the ones talking to the lobbyists all the time, taking the the deepening their pockets it's like man how the fuck are all any of those motherfuckers million multi-millionaires man all right for, all right for doing public <laughs> office shit right <laughs> exactly i'm pretty sure like i guess the highest public office position is the president and he only makes like half a million right yeah man so, <laughs> how are the people below him making more which is like you know you gotta stop and think yeah. uh, what the fuck's going on here oh yeah i wanted to say that like that shit <laughs> Shit went off for oh, a while. Oh, thanks. Uh, what did it? What's going on, IG? Maybe they really are. <laughs> maybe they really are uh, over here, you know, trying to yeah. censor us. Yo, censorship is real, man. <laughs> I know we, we got to talk about that shit, too. Okay. You know why? It's because we're not talking about, like, you know, typical ignorance. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I mean, not that I don't like, you know, entertainment and stuff, but... Mm -hmm. uh, it's just like, and I, uh, it, it's just today, like today, this is what's going on literally today. Yeah. <laughs> so how can I not talk about it? And even but, though, I, you know, I try to like distract myself with entertainment. Like at the end of the day, like yep. you're still living in a society is going to affect you. But <laughs> exactly. And I feel like, yeah, we're on a slippery slope, man. Because I think even um today, they what Zuckerberg announced, like, all right, we're going to... Um, we're gonna take down Donald Trump's account. Oh he, shit! He, okay, he can't say <laughs> he we we won't let him have it back until after the um, the inauguration, and even then, okay. if he's still talking shit, we will take it take it away from him. And then last night, um, I think they um they they deleted some of his Trump's tweets, and then they like silenced him for okay. twelve hours. <laughs> and it's incredible because like damn that's that's the president man like right. <laughs> you, if you can shut the president up yeah. what can you do to me what can you do to like my homie over here yeah, who's exactly. talking shit about um you know a certain celebrity or something or you know what if i call what if i call your your homie fat can you, can you, can you, gonna, you're gonna be like oh hate speech right. yeah basically, Yo, you can't right? yeah. lock me out of my account like oh it is, so it's a slippery slope. Like, okay, yeah, Trump's talking a lot of sh dumb shit, but like once you once you shut him up, then it's like, oh, all right, I got like the, I got the pass to shut the next person up. Yeah, the basically. Next yeah. I mean, I don't know who. I mean, I, I assume go, it's going back to just you know 
companies lobby for these laws yeah. that got passed. Because yeah. uh, I'm wondering, like, how, how the hell did just Facebook by itself get all this, like, ability to just shut people down? <laughs> and I guess I kind of just answered my question, probably. Um, yeah, people got a lot of money <laughs> invested in that shit, man. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. But even, uh, I think, yeah, even another crazy thing, like, a lot of people aren't talking about, like, last year they were... <laughs> They were trying to like, they they had them in um in um, they had them on trial like all the big tech guys. Right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's that like yo, like yo, you guys are kind of monopolies. We we might have to break you guys up and shit. So it's right. like, why don't you scratch my back? You know, you take you shut this motherfucker's shit down, and then we, we might back up off to you, man. I feel like no, that's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, Clearly on the wrong side, but uh, right. go on, go on. But yeah, it's like I don't know. It's like mad shit. I I believe going on behind the scenes that normal people probably wouldn't even think or like conversations and shit. But they are going on. Yeah, and that, money's being made. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah, just a lot of uh, I don't think it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you go. So That's good. a lot better. All right. Yeah, I think a lot of people, unfortunately not a lot of people, I feel like it's, it's half and half because obviously somebody like me knows and I am i don't know the most out of everybody. <laughs> so there's definitely <laughs> yeah. people that know more than me. Yeah. At the same time, there's people that not only know less than me, but they don't even want to know shit. It's just, <laughs> it's just like, hey, I'm cool. It's just, you know, sitting here and eating Cheetos or whatever. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Playing some Call of Duty and shit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> And, you know, I can't really blame them because it's like, you know, once again, it's just overwhelming amounts of information on a daily basis. Yeah. And it's like, I think I think that's why a lot of us, I think including me right now, I'm just like stay, trying. I mean, I'm, I'm a little too addicted to <laughs> social media. So I just <laughs> go on it for no reason. Yeah. But but uh, yeah, I'm like, right, I'm just going to stay off of this mm. and uh, like try to do my shit. <laughs> at least for the next, you know, day. Because who knows what the fuck's happening tomorrow, you know? Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> yeah. The one day they take your job away, the next day they're going to say, hey, you can't live here no more. We're going to put you somewhere else. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But, um, what should we call it? Uh, oh, damn, I want, there was another point I wanted to spin off of, but short-term <laughs> memory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happens, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna say about um, yeah, like the whole censoring thing. It's like, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't want to call it. I mean, I, I understand why people do it because it's like, even though, by the way, I'm not, I'm, I'm not supporting it because yeah. my argument is that like, yeah, you're protecting people from like, you know, I guess not getting bullied or whatever you want to <laughs> call it. I just not ranting on, but like, I don't understand like. Who didn't teach these people that you can just change the channel or turn, turn, put the phone down, (laughs) uninstall the app? Like, you know, if somebody, like you said, if somebody turns around and calls you fat, like, uh, maybe, well, first of all, maybe you are, maybe you're just saying that, you know, (laughs) stating a fact, but (laughs) they they don't want to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. But if you get offended by it, then I mean, just like, I know when I get offended by something, well, first of all, I definitely like, listen, Mm -hmm. but this isn't about me, but, (laughs) um, I, I like to just change the channel yeah, or just walk away and do something better. <laughs> Put my mind, like, at yep. better use because it was like, all right, I'm fat. I'm going to get mad or sad about it and, like, kill myself. Like, I don't think that's the solution, right? <laughs> like, nah, right? Like, hopefully not. <laughs> right, right. I mean, I don't know much about life, but well, there's a lot went of other shit. Damn, bro. Damn. Fucking IG man, Facebook. I think, I think it's also my phone. This is just like, oh yeah, this is a six, but <laughs> hey, six still runs That's good. Still, I think. I mean, good enough. Yeah. But, uh, I gotta do this. Take you know. Yeah. Uh, let's you know we're trying something new here, people. We're trying to be interactive. Uh, with with the fans. Hell yeah! That's what it's all about. You hear the people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Actually, I'm I'm thinking about starting to. I mean, people have to write in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so if you're listening, just write in. But I do wanna, I do wanna start, you know, getting questions or something like that. Getting from, some calls and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In the future, you know, yeah. real calls. Like when I get a real producer with me, you know, 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to do like five things at once. <laughs> but um yeah. yeah. I think it'd be nice to just interact with yeah, like with the listeners. Yeah. And um, cause it's like I think podcasting is it comes from basically talk radio, you know. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. It's like just like you said, you know, you used to get calls, you used to have like not that I don't have a topic to talk about with you, because clearly, you know, uh Bro, we got. I, I, I yeah. talk about. I I, I want to rant about the cyberpunk game, man. I don't know if you play that oh, shit. Oh right, I like cool. that shit. That's cool. Fucking, if we live in a simulation or not? Oh yeah, 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 like, yeah for sure. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't played it. I mean, I know what it's about. Yeah, uh, I haven't played it, but I guess that's kind of like what they try to, you know. There was a lot of memes for that shit okay. too. Man. Like, right? Yeah, yeah. I saw them. Cause it's like that's right. I ain't gonna lie, man. That's, that was a game I was anticipating for a while. I was like already in my mind, like, all right, this is probably the last game I'm gonna play, because even the fucking gaming industry is, is predatory <laughs> yeah, as yeah, fuck. Yeah. Whereas, like, I can't even play an NBA game without having to throw in twenty dollars to put some stats on my motherfucker. All oh, right. And it's like, damn, yeah. you gotta do that shit every year for every release. Basically, <laughs> right. Come out the same game every year, so it's like. All right, Cyberpunk's gonna come out. They took like damn near eight years, a decade working on this game. Right. They they know what they're doing. Shit's about to change the whole industry. You get your hopes up, then it comes, <laughs> then it comes out, and then you're like, damn, son, shit's freezing up on you. It's oh, buggy man, as hell. That's crazy. The the NPCs are t posing like this when you, <laughs> when you turn around, like, oh, uh, like right, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Like, yo, yeah, this shit funny. taking me out of the whole immersion of this shit. Oh, shit. That's hilarious. You know, it's funny. I was thinking about that, like, earlier today. Not just video yeah. games, but, like, almost every, like, just art form, whether it's, like, actual, like, paintings or music. Mm -hmm. Or video games are definitely art form, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, because it's a lot of writing and, and actual, like, you know, sketching. And, Basically, yeah. like, films nowadays. And yeah, shit, that's another thing. Yeah, it's just yeah. films, uh... Uh, television it's just like it's kind of I, I feel like back then because it was so limited it had to be like the best one <laughs> like you could only show three movies per year you have to pick the three best movies you can't just put it up on YouTube or whatever <laughs> yeah and you know call yourself a director uh, and I feel like I mean it's good that people got opportunities now way more than they had before but it's like it's just so much it's like oversaturated. Yeah, exactly. Shit, man. It's just it's... all oversaturated, and yeah. I think the that brought the bar down as far as like <laughs> quality. Yeah, quality, like what you expect to be good quality. And it's like you said, like <laughs> yeah. I spent like a decade working on a game. To me, it looks good, but because I haven't played it, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I don't know what's wrong with it. Clearly, <laughs> but I got it. Yeah, I played. I put in like a hundred hours in that shit, like since it came out. No, nice. I was like, yo. <laughs> This is the last, uh, this is probably the last game I'm playing, right? Because right, right. I'm tired of this shit. Yeah. Let me just beat this shit till till breaks fall off, man. Right. Yeah. But. It's like you know, it's something that's really sad. I kind of I was listening to a podcast earlier, and yeah, I mean, I already kind of knew this, but it just reminded me again something like the like the art industry. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many artists you know right now, but unfortunately, yeah. the way the industry works. They're only going to make money after they die. <laughs> you know, so somebody yes. like, yeah. you know, John michel Basquiat, yeah, you know, yeah. Andy Warhol, uh, you know how like in the 80s, they were actually like kind of the shit. Yeah. But all the um, all the people with money, like kind of looked down on them because one of them was gay, the other one's black. So yeah. <laughs> here's the perfect. He's like a street artist and shit. You're right, yeah. They and ain't take them seriously. Yeah, exactly. And now... Yeah, when Jay Z's I, buying his shit for like what, millions of dollars. Yeah, exactly. It's and then and Basquiat's <laughs> dead, man. And it's right. Like, it, and um, I think this this always also came out this week um in the news um, the the IRS, you know how they were on um Prince's ass right, about right. the taxes. Now he, now he's dead, and they're still trying to get thirty nine million dollars off of his estate. <laughs> right. And it's like damn, so crazy. You're like you can't even rest in peace. Yeah, without. No without the tax man coming for your ass. <laughs> you know, that's another thing I don't understand. Like, I mean, obviously I'm not that rich yet to be paying that many taxes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, yeah, they pay like, I, I can't believe how much, especially as like a state in New York, 
Or yeah. California, like, you know, with these crazy tax, uh, just just the amount of tax you have to pay for. Basically everything. <laughs> like, you can't, <laughs> you can't step outside without paying a tax. Like, like you know, <laughs> just, just, just for you staying at home, that's a tax. Yep. Uh, just for you, you know, driving somewhere, there's a tax involved. Mm-hmm. And it's, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, uh, how could people complain that there's not enough money? <laughs> You're like, uh, that we're in debt. It is like, so what's up with all this money we pay every second of the day? Like, what's, what's going on with that? It's shit? going straight to, to Capitol Hill, man. Uh, yeah, that's basically, right. right? Yeah. So that's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a joke at this point, man. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm already at the point where, like, damn, I got to. What are the other options, man? Where where can I go where I can I I can chill, at at and be human at least, man. Yeah, yeah. And not. and like I have I have time to do my art. You know, apparently, uh, I like I used to joke that, like I was just gonna move to Madagascar if shit really hit the fan. But apparently, there's <laughs> there's COVID in Madagascar now. Oh damn, so, there is. Yeah, oh, so man. I think uh, there's no safe place other than like Antarctica. Or something. <laughs> yes, <laughs> some like isolated isolated island where population is like negative three or something. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> somewhere you don't gotta wear a mask. Right. So did did you have or do you have now a place like that? Like you know, like you said, I just wanna go somewhere so I could just work on my art and not worry about this extra <laughs> shit. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm trying to make that move to to Europe, man. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so, nice. Have you been at all? Yeah, yeah. Cause um, I've I've been going since I was like young to like Paris, France, and shit. Okay, cool. So um, my dad used to um, bring me on vacation there, nice. and then then he met like a family there, and um, he ended up becoming like a godfather to to one of their children. Okay, that's what's up. So then that's that was kind of <laughs> so like kinda cool. yeah, it was like I right, got family for like. For like life over there and shit. Now. Yeah, it's like, that's good. That's kind of. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say that's random, but that's like <laughs> a good, uh, I guess, coincidence for you. Yeah, it uh, is. Yeah. It is pretty <laughs> random, man. Cause like I, I was thinking about like, damn, not, I, I, I always got to shout out my dad for that. God rest his soul and shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he fucking gave me opportunity. I feel like now I, he passed the torch. Right. Now I can go there maybe. And, Talk my shit about here, cause I I kind of want to be in, in on the joke too, man. I feel like we're we're the butt of the joke right now. Oh right, so it's like I want I want to yeah. be over there laughing. Like, <laughs> right, know, yeah, like, that'd be nice for once. Right? It's, it's, <laughs> it sounds messed up, but yo, man, twenty twenty is a messed up year. Like a lot of emotional stress. Like yeah, that's for sure. I mean, need a break, my nigga. Yeah, I I, I uh like I've had a what do you call them? Oh my god. Uh, f- not physical. Jesus, I guess mental therapist. That's you know, or just you know what you think about when you hear the word therapist. I'm here twice, and it's just like mm-hmm. I don't want to say like, oh, poor them, because they have to work a lot now. Because I'm pretty sure they're not complaining. Yeah. <laughs> but but um, yeah, that's like a- another thing too. That's just like um, uh, I don't know. I like I don't know how other people think because I'm not in their minds. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, like, I know for me, there's times it's like, bro, like, how the fuck are you even alive? Like, what, what, what are you, what's going on? Like, can you stay alive? Like, you know, like, is there even a point of keep going? Like, to you know? that, to all that metaphysical shit, huh? Yeah, yeah, basically, that's what yeah, it is. You just start oh, thinking. <laughs> like, what does it mean to be a human, bro? Like, right, like, am I doing the right shit? Like, yeah, you know, am I a wholesome person? <laughs> <laughs> but man, even at this point, it's like you think about that shit, and it's like, man, I, I was kind of thinking like this: like, all right, no one asks to be born, right? <laughs> but it's like a gift to be here and shit, because like it took yeah, a lot for, for sure. you to come here. Like, you get first, you gotta your dad gotta find find someone compatible, <laughs> right. bust the nut at like a a very exact angle and shit. For you to be able to like beat out, I like, think of like seven hundred million or a billion other sperm cells right. to get to the egg, and then you gotta hope that your mom lives for like nine months and is able to carry you around. And it's like, all right, I'm I'm almost out, this bitch. And then you come out to the world, and it's like, 
hey, what, what, what what's going on? Yeah, War yeah, over here, right. racism over there. Like, whoa. What's... So I was, I was thinking, like, damn, like, if this shit is a simulation, man, like, there has to be multiple, man. How do we yeah. end up in like this yeah, a simulation true. of white supremacy, bro? There's got to be like other other things going on and shit, man. Like, yeah, I definitely <laughs> always think about that too, because it's yeah. like, how can how can all this shit happen in the span of a year? Like, <laughs> you know what? At least like stretch it out, you know, like throughout time, so you know it, it could be less just fucking intense. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like and like even <laughs> even growing up, the education was like. All right, Martin Luther King, he he ended racism. So oh, now, right, basically. So right? now everything's okay. You, you grow up in elementary school, you learn about Black History Month and um and Native Americans and shit. You're like, oh, they they were like friendly with the Pilgrims, all right. <laughs> right. But then you grow older, old, and they 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 tell you, oh, you know, Santa Claus is real too. <laughs> you know, and you believe in Santa <laughs> right. Claus for a while. You believe everything they tell you, and then you grow up, you fight, you, you get your own experience, and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> these motherfuckers were, were fucking lying to me. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's sad. Like, I try to think about it because I remember I had a specific, like, experience with that with, with my mom. I mean, obviously, like, if, you know, mm-hmm. if they told you Santa, about Santa Claus, I guess they automatically lied. But, <laughs> like, I remember, like, my mom wanted to put me at this other school and it was like, I don't want to, I don't want to leave. I already got all my friends here. And she was like, hey, if you get, you know, because, you know, here in New York, it's like fours and threes, twos and ones to grade you. Yeah, she yeah. was like, if you get all fours and threes, I'll, I'll keep you at the school. Mm-hmm. And there you go. You know, <laughs> the end of the year, that's all I had. Fours <laughs> and three here and there. <laughs> and then the next year, I'm not at the same school. So it's <laughs> like, this bitch, like, you can't believe you just did that to me. Like. <laughs> Obviously, I can't do anything about it because I'm like 10 or 11 years old or something like that. Yeah. But I'm like, how dare you just lie to me <laughs> like that? But yeah. as a kid, you're like, that stuff doesn't happen. Lies, you know? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 actually, it actually, like, it takes your own education to be able to, like, tell when someone's lying to you and shit. Right. You got to, like, live enough life. Yeah, that's to, really And it. get that instinct and shit. But at the same time, people... The education system could teach you whatever the fuck they want to teach you, like shit that can help you, like the media, like. But they'll t- they they have their own curriculum. Right. They they can tell you like, <laughs> hey. They can have a class on hey here's here's how to spot a liar or untrustworthy untr- person. Oh, right. Like just in case, like that shit can even even help out like fucking victims of child sex abuse and shit, man. Like. Oh yeah, but, for sure. But that's, uh, that's very good because that shit is a reality. But how are you protecting the children to like be able to combat that shit when the time comes? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that could be taught and should be taught for sure. Like that's definitely. Um, I mean, it's hard because you know they're trying to just teach you all the basics that what they think are basics in the span of like what is it like? I, I don't even know what is it six hours or eight hours. Or in school, yeah, like about, like about eight hours of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in school and like, and you know, where's the time to teach you like all the all the non, um, yeah, I guess like me, I guess made a physical it maybe is the word, you know, all the yeah. all the stuff that you don't necessarily like, uh, like touch, like all those all those morals and ethics and just I guess mm-hmm. philosophies and. Just ways of like ways, ways to handle life, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, but I think we're we're in a, we're in an age right now where like we have the opportunity to really change the way we learn and shit with the way technology is fucking es- accelerating everything basically. Right. Yeah. For and it's sure. like, damn these these fucking three year olds know how to use a phone more more than some of us and yeah, shit. Yeah, for sure. And it's like they're learning how to read through that shit also. So it's like. Well, I don't, I, don't, I honestly don't know what the curriculum anymore is since we were growing up. Right, but I'm, yeah, I'm sure you can like very fast track all the reading shit if you have a tablet in the classroom, and you say, "Hey, go go home, do your homework, just read some shit off the tablet." Yeah, there you then go. like maybe in the two months you'd be reading at like a fucking college level if right, you're in yeah, elementary I could, school. I could definitely see that, but 
and I'll, and also like um with um what Elon Musk is planning with the Neuralink shit, man, like and that's gonna be the beginning of yeah, some other shit, yeah, bro. That's that's kind of like you, you about to put chips in people's heads. You about to like download all the data of how a motherfucker thinks. Then you're about to see like, all right, now <laughs> now we're gonna have some video games with some real AI in that shit. <laughs> where, right. Where yeah, motherfuckers yeah, yeah. like can't off the screen, he, he's in the bathroom taking a doo-doo and shit, <laughs> reading a newspaper. Right. <laughs> he bust in there shooting like <laughs> He's like, yo, I'm taking the shit. <laughs> like some real life shit. All right. I, I think I was um I think I watched like a YouTube video um that explained like if if we're able to like create a simulation that like a video game simulation that ends up becoming like sentient and shit, like oh they're conscious all of a sudden, that shit would like raise the likelihood that we're in a simulation too. Like, yeah, cause, yeah, it's kind of because it'd be like oh yeah. if we can create a simulation like that, what's to say we 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 weren't created as a simulation, right? Because like yeah, yeah, shit yeah. works kind of like fractally and shit. Like yeah, it's definitely true. I mean. We like to think that, I mean, I think that's starting to change, obviously, because, because uh, like you said, it's just you know, you go about life and you see that not everything is the way it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I feel like, it, at least for the past, like, I don't know, thousands of years, I don't know, I don't know how you know ancient Egyptians thought or whatever if they yeah. thought about this stuff. But like, you're probably thinking about some next shit, bro, yeah, like yeah, making the pyramids, right? Yeah, like that must have been so, like if they're. <laughs> attempt that like neuralink type of science or something like yeah you know because it's like most i feel like most your average person obviously like we're taught that the earth isn't the center of the universe mm-hmm. <laughs> so, i i feel like people still have that uh like even though they know technically it's not but you know like an individual person is like i am the Center of the universe. Yeah, it's like, like this is I'm, my universe. You just happen to be in it, <laughs> like Donald Trump or something. Man. Yeah, there you go. Perfect example. Go. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I feel like a lot of people think that way, man. And but you get a few that realize, like, oh, it's it's not just about me and shit. Right. But it's like there's so many people on on Earth right now, like seven over seven billion. Yeah, yeah, you could kind of see yeah. where the division comes in. If you, if somebody, if, if most people think that they're center of shit, like, yeah, of course, we're gonna have some conflict going on. And shit. Yeah, yeah, that's why. So. I mean, I've always thought that just having like left, right, black, white, that it, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> so yeah. I ask myself, like, why, why is this country that's supposed to be the most progressive kind of, you know, and like you said, you know, we're supposed to be the beacon of of light that's you know leading the way. Yeah, your Statue of Liberty and all that Right, shit. yeah. <laughs> why is that, like, why are we limiting ourselves so much to, like, red or blue, like, and that's it? <laughs> that's yeah. it. That, that's another thing, like, I think that's another thing that's been trying to be be done away with, that the whole having um sides to the government, even though it's worked for them so long, but I feel like the whole, the way the whole shit worked out, because, like, Trump, he didn't really come out of nowhere, man. He's been people in the eighties have been asking him like, "Hey, why don't you right. run for president? You know, like, why you know why don't you try it out?" He's like, yeah, "I'll try it out one day," but then I don't know. I feel like they all got together and was like, "All right, now's your time, man. We need you to divide America as much as you can, so that we can give our power to like one source. We're not worried about like left or right right now, because like." Honestly, you thinking about all this shit, especially what happened yesterday. Does it look like anyone's like trying to fucking um vote for a Republican again? Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like, all right, Democrats are angels, we're gonna roll with them. They're they're the good guys here. Look yeah, look what yes, look what Republicans yeah. did. They fucking stormed the Capitol. They're they're fucking this and that, they're, they're, they're the enemy. So you, it looks like they're about to do away with that shit. <laughs> have one party. Yeah. And, I mean, and maybe move towards socialism, man. Yeah, which... I, I, yeah <laughs> I, I, could, I could definitely, like, I wouldn't, you know, not I would not deny that. Like, I can't, at this point, I can't really deny anything because <laughs> I don't think anybody saw, 
a lot of this shit coming. Maybe no some one's, people did. Yeah, we, we thought we were about yeah. to chill out for 2021. Right, <laughs> but, but not all at once. <laughs> yes, it just all happened at once. It's like, you know, if you don't die from a fucking cop shooting, you die from this random virus that just popped out of nowhere. Yep. And Or if not, you just get bullied and kill yourself. I don't know. Like, it's, it's, it is kind of crazy, but... Um, I feel like it was really by design, man, because, um, I mean, even with the the whole dynamic with China, man, like, over the past few months after the last time I was on, I was like, I was really looking at shit, like, geopolitics-wise yeah. and, and um, like, seeing what, like, cause and effect. Like, damn, how, well, yeah, how did China get so powerful now where they're basically herbing us? And it's like, oh yeah, right. yeah, every look at look under everything it says made in China yeah, under yeah, it. Sure. Literally everything, yeah, bro. Like... <laughs> like, the P- PlayStation fives, right. Xboxes, Apple Black computers. Holes, yeah. And it's like, damn, no wonder because you give all the manufacturing jobs, you ship it out to China mm-hmm. and um other Eastern countries for cheap labor. But what if you built a factory? You know, in Queens, where right. motherfucking can like just make a a tablet real quick, put the pieces together. In that case, then you'd have to worry about workers' rights, right? That's and the then thing. fifteen dollars <laughs> an hour, and then right. a union and shit. And they're like, uh, "Nah, we'll give the jobs to China. All right? <laughs> keep keep enriching them." And now you turn around like. Oh, how China get all this power? You damn yeah, China. Yeah, just gave it's it like, to them. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, so what was the plan all along, man? Like, right. eventually they're going to get billions and billions of dollars from all this shit, all the business you're giving them. You could have gave it to us. We we, we would have been good money. We would not not so many people would have been struggling, but you sold that. You sold us out. Right, you sold yeah, the labor yeah, out. For sure. That's Let's why see. I kind of can't really put my finger on why. Uh, Donald Trump really ended up being president because it's like, I mean, I just think about going back to like, for example, George, the first George Bush. Yeah. Like, I, that's the first president I heard talking about like, uh, you know, New World Order, unified uh, yeah. continent and this and that. Yeah, I remember um, that speech. So it's like, but yeah. then like you look at it now and it's like, I feel like Donald Trump in the same political party is kind of trying to go against that so it's like i don't i don't get i don't get what's going on anymore you know but like yeah like you said earlier it's as if the democrats are kind of moving towards a more socialism kind of ideology and it's like like, i know people's i know i know people keep like they they hear socialism and they think the boogeyman right but it's like even in um i think it was the 1940s or 30s or they had a socialist party in america yeah and it was them who made like the social security policy and then um i think 8 hour work days oh, okay, cuz right. if it wasn't for a socialist party to say that motherfuckers they capitalism would be like yo you're working 12 hours no break man like i don't give a shit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like yeah. shut the fuck up right we're trying to make money so it took like some socialist motherfuckers to be like wait we gotta give people some rights up in this bitch and then like all right so, you know retire at 65 you get your social security um uh or, you know low minimum wage you know we can't just pay you a penny now. You know, you got to be fair. Right. Now you can have a union. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now, I guess, it only makes sense. Capitalism has gotten to a point where, damn, it's it's going to be hard for it to sustain itself. Not everything is, like, renewable energy. Not everything is unlimited <laughs> resource. And maybe we're running out. That's why we got to keep... Sending the military to other countries for oil and shit and, <laughs> yeah. and for labor. So now it's like, damn, how far can we push capitalism? Yeah, yeah, like, true. how far do you want to push it, man? Like, to, until, like, either the people say enough of this shit and then they have to storm the capital again. But this time it's everybody. Or um, <laughs> right. Or what do you want to do? You want right. to give us some like social programs, maybe a little Medicare for all, or you know, a little universal basic income or something. 
Yeah, for sure. So it's, it's, it's the time. Now's the time to see what's going down because, like, Democrats are they basically run everything now the Congress and um, they have the presidency. And I think they're about to, they're gonna put like more Supreme Court justices because Trump made it all Republican or some shit, right? Do you think it's, it was uh, I mean, it's like, like, that's what I've been thinking too. Like, do you think it really is yeah. like, um, like set up like no matter what was gonna happen, like it was gonna be a Democratic Senate? Or do you think it was just straight up, like, you know, as simple as, oh, the not enough Republican supporters were not voted? Like, do you think that's, <laughs> you know? Because um, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's kind of like the simple solution, like a simple answer. Like, yeah. uh, you know, like, oh, you guys just didn't go vote. And that's why you lost. You, maybe you should have went to vote. Because, uh, like, <laughs> honestly, look at four years ago. That's... Those motherfuckers came out, right? Exactly, that's what and I'm that's saying. that's how Trump won. Everyone was tired of like the, um, the by the books, fucking corrupt, you know, like shady politicians, right? It, to the point where like you had Hillary Clinton, and everyone's like wise enough to know, like, man, bitch, <laughs> like you you done some wild shit, stealing <laughs> land from Haiti, fucking bombing right. the Middle East and shit. Yeah, I like mean, just, yeah. just like you said earlier, like you know, you kind of learn how to like read people's faces, yeah, <laughs> not to trust them. Like if maybe. you smiling too much, man, like <laughs> especially like come Kamala Harris laugh, bro. Oh, yeah, we about yeah, to yeah. live with that shit for four years, <laughs> and it's like, man, we 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 know that shit wasn't that funny. You laughing like right, that, right. Like, <laughs> and you just putting up a <laughs> putting up a front right yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, that's the kind of like you said, like just politicians have this. I mean, I, obviously not every single one, but mm -hmm. you know, they just kind of have this mentality or character, or, you know, trait mm -hmm. that's like, you know, you don't even have to say it. You're just like, yeah, that person's a politician. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just, by yeah. the way, just by the way, they, you know, do stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that, I don't know. That, that's why I'm also like shady about it because, like, Sure, Trump wasn't a politician, but you know what he was? It's a fucking reality TV star. Bro. Oh, man. <laughs> so he, he could have been like the perfect role for him to be like, all right, we want you to, to like, we right. want you to divide the nation. Yeah, that's a lot of sense. <laughs> you know? Just do, you know, we're, we're going to make you look like the, the, the biggest bad guy of all time by the end of this shit. But, you know, it's cool. You still have your billion dollars. You give you an island somewhere you could chill. <laughs> like what's right. honestly what's gonna happen to the man like he's not going to jail for none of the shit he did or yeah it's crazy right? he's gonna be able to sleep better at night than my ass man like I, yeah shit. i'm we're the ones who gotta worry about like oh all right how am i gonna pay my bills now fucking meanwhile this guy's paying like 700 dollars on his taxes. all right yeah it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> That yeah. shit is just too funny at this point, man. Yeah. It's it's messed up, but it's funny as hell. Man. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, it's another reason why, just kind of like you said, like, I'm, I respect these people that storm the Capitol building because they have the balls to do it. Yeah, because I really thought, <laughs> I was like, man, why is America so pussy, bro? Right. Like, why, why are we taking all this shit from these old right. senior motherfuckers? Yeah, yeah. Then yesterday, it's like, oh, okay, okay now <laughs> Even though, like, I don't agree with these people and shit, but yeah, yeah at least they showed it was possible, man. Right, right. <laughs> like, and that's that's what I thought about some things, you know, about Trump. Like, obviously, like in general, <laughs> I'm not. I don't. I don't think he should have been president. But yeah, there were some things that I'm like, you know, at least he's the one trying to like do it, not by like he said, like the typical political book. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, trying to actually like. Uh, you know, I, I still thought he was trying to help the people, like, even if it wasn't specifically me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> He was yeah. trying to help somebody. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's like, back to those, going back to the taxes shit, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, he's not the only one. Like, why no, don't you talk shit not. about like, <laughs> everybody else? That yeah, it's it. probably like Bezos and shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. they, was like got, they say he, Bezos got enough money to end world hunger literally and shit. Yeah, like, I right. bet that motherfucker's not paying no crazy taxes, like, I'm I'm probably we're probably paying more taxes than him, man. Right. right. So it's exactly. like uh, that that's another thing about um the whole capitalism system. Right. It it rewards greed and it punishes like <laughs> broke niggas or niggas who are yeah, struggling. Basically. Bro. Like that's what something I realized like I'm I mean, I, I hate to like you know what, whatever, fuck it, I did it and I'm not ashamed. 
to tell you that I used to do a lot of volunteer work. Yeah, I'm a good guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <with you guys. laughs> uh, but like, that's the sad yeah. thing that like, you know, you just spent so much time helping and then you never got anything back other than like just to feel good and just to know that you, you know, you're doing something good for yeah. the world. Yep. But then I'm over here like, I still got to like, trying to make a living don't i so like <laughs> exactly. so i had to like get away from that and it's just like capitalism i want to say it got to me but mm-hmm. I, I had to like you know it's either it's either like keep up or get left behind and you know yeah man, that's, what, that's why that's <laughs> why that's why you gotta adopt that whole greedy mindset and shit like damn i gotta have more than the next guy man. right <laughs> and it's, yeah it's not it's like i hope that's not how people think but mm-hmm. it is kind of like set up as a pyramid like you can't can't be a lot of people <laughs> at the top yeah and it's just not possible unfortunately yes you know and that, like i don't know i don't know where but i feel like somewhere along the line it just not just americans like just people in general like got too addicted to just more more in this you know it's like yeah <laughs> it's it was consumption and shit consumer culture yeah. man that's that's the thing like because like like I said, fucking China's the producer. Like, if you got a studio or some shit, yeah, China's yeah, producing. Right. There you go. Maybe, um, maybe Israel's like the recording engineer or some <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> um, Russia's like the the mixer. <laughs> oh, okay, like the mixer engineer or something. Right? But fucking, um, we're 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 basically the consumer, man. We're, right. We're the one yeah. who takes the the packaged product and just, and just take buys it. Buys it, yeah. We take PS5, sit in front of it for like you know, tw- um, twenty hours in a day. All right. Meanwhile, um, who's making the PS5? China. Who's um who's collecting the money out out of that? What Sony, Japan. All right. Like what was what America making? We got what, Ford cars and shit. And <laughs> what do we, we have? Right. We like uh, Lincoln Oldsmobiles and shit. Right. <laughs> Those motherfuckers in China not buying that shit, bro. Yeah, like, exactly. They driving their own shit. They got hun- what Hyundai's. We yeah, yeah, even exactly. we drive more Hondas, Toyotas, right. Japanese cars <laughs> over here. We don't we don't even drive our own shit, man. Right. So. You know, even the uh, like even even companies like Ford and Chrysler. Mm-hmm. Uh, like last time I was in Mexico, I actually saw a lot of the factories over there. Where yeah. the factories are there? Yeah, that's where oh the factories are at. So it's like you know, once again, like I and, and they don't want to pay the Mexicans, right? You know, and have them get benefits and Social Security and all that. Right. Thing. Although that's been very good for like, uh, like you know, the Mexicans over there. Like you know, it's helped them out a lot, like for the yeah. economy. That's and then, so you know, it's like, but that's supposed to be an American company. <laughs> you know, yeah. so, so you better pay him American wages, man. Like, if that's <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 it's crazy. I just ask myself, like, uh, I mean, I haven't been keeping up with, like, economy that much, but mm-hmm. what, what's what's the GDP of America now? Like you said, like, what, what are we even selling to the world? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like it's being made here. Trump, Trump's just yeah. been talking about, oh, the stock market's doing good. Mm-hmm. Like, is the stock market our economy, man? Like, right, that's just right, like yeah. that kind of benefits those businesses, the private businesses, more than the government and shit. The private businesses aren't gonna fucking. You're not taxing them to to give social programs or mm-hmm. fix the pothole in the street over here and shit. That's right. kind of, that's all come from us, man. Yeah, I guess one. I, I know that China, for example, has, um, I mean, it's not like anybody admitted it because I don't think they ever will. But <laughs> mm-hmm. I think the way they work is like somebody, uh, like, let's say if Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk was Chinese, mm-hmm. uh, like eventually the government would like end up buying over their company. Like they still make their stuff, but it's like you're, you're a government now. Like you're not your own private company. Yeah, the, the like, government. L- like um, what? <laughs> just the other day on that um, Jack Ma or something. Or right, right. The that, Alibaba mm-hmm. guy. <laughs> he talked shit about the CCP like uh, right. a few months ago. <laughs> now he's gone, bro. He did has disappeared. Yeah. Like, it's like, uh oh. Right. That's that's the kind of the consequences. Or, but I don't know, man. Like. Empathy wise, like, yo, gotta I gotta give it to China, bro. Like, yeah, 
you gotta respect them too. Just yeah, like exactly. you gotta respect the niggas who storm the Capitol. Like these <laughs> niggas is like these niggas is trying to get it on their own and shit, bro. Like that's why but, I think it makes sense for China to be, I guess, like the biggest power, or just an Eastern kind of country, because it's like, I mean, I'm trying to do quick math, but mm-hmm. uh, it's like two two hundred fifty years or something. That America's age, basically. Yeah, like a little, yeah. Little, yeah, about that. Yeah, and like yeah. when China was basically inventing fireworks, I don't know what the fuck was going on here in America. And there it, wasn't, it, <laughs> you know, China's right. like a thousand. All right, so that's what I'm saying. Like they were like, <laughs> even though it's, it's, it sounds silly, fireworks, but that's yeah. extremely innovative for its time. Yeah, they've been innovators for thousands of years. I think they had yes. guns before us and shit too. Man. Right. Like, yeah. Gunpowder, all that. Yeah, exactly. So it makes sense to me that like somebody that old knows the way around earth now. <laughs> you know the way. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's experience. Was... That's the seasoning, man. If you're cooking something, you gotta add the spices, add all this shit to it to make it good, man. They they're seasoned in the game. Right. Yeah. Exactly. We're still like in the grand scheme of shit, like we're kind of still finding our footing and shit. Right, yeah, still but, teenagers. Basically. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, we're still learning from mistakes we made, like, o- only like 100, 150 years ago. Right. Yeah, yeah, still, for sure. Still trying to get over uh, <laughs> those race relations, man. Like, Yeah, exactly. It's not. Doesn't happen overnight or over, like, probably not even over a century, man. Yeah, for it's, sure. It's like, if you think about it, uh, yeah, it has been like 150 years, I guess. Mm-hmm. And. <laughs> And it's like, I mean, we, we always go back to this, like, especially last time you were here, too. Like, it's like, I don't think America would have been built, you know, if it wasn't for the racism <laughs> to begin with. Nah. It's like, <laughs> no. unfortunately, like, that's kind of like the reason why it was able to just get off rolling quick, you know. Like, yeah, they, there'd be no there'd be no Kanye West without that whole. Right. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> no Michael Jordan. Yeah. No Dave Chappelle. We probably would have just been in Africa still just chilling and yeah. shit. And fucking... Actually, going, I always think about this. You know uh, how France was the last uh, in the World Cup. Like, they, they won the last one. Yeah. And, like, if you see their, like, their starting 11, I think they only have two white guys. <laughs> and everybody <laughs> yeah, else is, like, but... African immigrant. Uh, yeah. You know, like, their parents are African Straight immigrants. A- legit Africans are, yeah, either African immigrants or they, like, immigrated and shit. Right, like, yeah. Like, they still have, like, the legit, like, African last name and first names. Yeah. But they're French. Yeah. And it's, like, you know, like, somewhere along the line, like, yeah, like, racism was involved. Like, yeah, you know, they had to deal with some type of racism, either coming to Africa or coming to France or mm-hmm. being forced to go. Um you know, it's like, but then I guess it was probably like 50 years later, you know, uh, that these, I guess, I guess they're not kids. They're like our age, but yeah, but like these kids were able to like just end up, uh, world, world up. cup champions. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. They moved up from like just immigrants to, you know, trying to find refuge in a, a first world country. And like now, yeah, like you said, you know, they're first world, uh, first world, uh, yeah. world cup champions. Yep. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, I didn't listen to that much commentary on it, but I feel like that's something that should have been touched on. Is like, um, like the mix, I guess, of cultures and and just migration of people. Like, that's that's something that's positive, you know. Like, yeah, it, yeah. it's, it's like cult- culture wise and shit. Right. It's like, yeah, that's how you got the blues, rock and roll. Right. There you go. Exactly. Rap, uh, fucking, <laughs> like, yeah, none of that shit would have happened. So it's like, yeah, you had to get through some darkness, right, to like sure. find the light at the end of the tunnel and shit. Yeah, like I'll, I'll do, I'll do a little history lesson if uh, some music people want to hear. And if, mm-hmm. I mean, actually, I'm pretty sure music people know. You probably know already, but like, mm-hmm. if people wonder like how shit started, like I know for sure that. Like, for example, jazz. That's probably, like, the oldest American music for sure. Yeah. Uh, like, that shit started in, um, you know, in, in New Orleans because it was just, like, the biggest port, at least in the South. Yeah. So you had, like, that's how, you know, basically Creole people ended up being. <laughs> being. It was just, like, <laughs> it was a black Southern people 
And then, like, you know, French and some Spaniards and Fucking big ass melting pot. And then, and yeah, and, and it was like, you know, there were all these like brothels, like, so, you know, you're gonna make noise when you do that. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> 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 if not, you ain't doing it right. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. so, to drown out the noise, you know, the owners of the places would hire musicians to play music. And since they didn't know each other, yeah. they're probably from different parts of the world. They just kind of like in music talk to each other, and that's where like you know jazz got famous for improvisation and all that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's like it's like you said, like from dark shit. <laughs> just from <laughs> darkness comes like you know things that you're like a hundred years later you're enjoying. You know, yeah. It's like obviously, like a lot of shit comes from jazz, and you know, including hip hop, rap, as much as you want to deny it. it's definitely it definitely is yep uh but it's like if it wasn't for it just like sailors wanting to you know just bust a nut <laughs> before they left again it's off to sea uh you know maybe 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 it would have been a different type of music but i think it's it's cool that like you know it's just like yeah uh, it kind of worked out man like, right you know. right like kind of like being born and shit, man. A lot of shit has to go down like a certain right. way for for the fruit to come out, man. Like, right? Yeah, for but, sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's I, a lot of messed up shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. I guess you just gotta persevere. You know so, what? Yeah, that is that kind of like a good is a good way of looking at it. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I guess I'm not saying that I have the answer to solve your problems during the time <laughs> during this time, <laughs> but I like to like lately I've been watching a lot of just nature shit you like so like natural geographic mm-hmm. uh what's that planet earth you know things like that yeah. and to me it's just like it kind of answers a lot of questions that i have about people <laughs> you know it's like yeah. like why why do you people do that like why like it doesn't make sense to me like why you would want to do that but then you look at nature like um just like how even even just bugs like it doesn't have to be like directly like uh chimpanzees or whatever that's closest to us yeah even even as you know as far as like bugs and just how they how they act amongst each other and like how their whole like just just ants for example (laughs) you know like are you guys really just doing all this for the queen for one queen for the the one yeah for the one ant like you willing to sacrifice your life and it's like um i mean i guess white people are just so like kind of one track minded sometimes, <laughs> and just like because yeah, we definitely are animals and shit. Man. Yeah, that's, exactly. <laughs> that's another thing. Like, cause like last year, I was like, man, the whole pandemic shit gave me an opportunity to be like, all right, now I have an excuse to be antisocial, man. Like, <laughs> now I can say like, uh, you know what? It's a pandemic. I'm not gonna come out tonight. I'm not gonna go clubbing and shit. Right, right. But then when you like separate yourself from that shit real quick and like you have a chance to like be on the outside looking in it's like damn all my homies really only want one thing they want to bust a nut and yeah, fuck man. a bitch like <laughs> like damn bro is that really all there is to life <laughs> what, what if you in fuck way, yourself over like it's you bust, true. <laughs> yeah you, you you get a kid now and now you got to pay child support like 20 years your ass screwed right yeah yeah it's, it's like yeah, you yeah. got you got to have some wisdom now so now now it's like all right i'm coming out the other side, 2020, I can't just fuck around and just be like, all right, let me just fuck as many bitches as I can. <laughs> I'd be like, man, let me see who who's actually a genuine person. Let me use those five right. senses, just how I can see, like, who's a politician. Let me see who's genuine right, right. enough to, like, fucking build some shit where it's, like, meaningful at least, man. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That's definitely yeah. true. I mean, I think that's what separates us. Yeah. One of the things that separates us from, like, just real savage prime apes because you know and i I don't want to get into like i don't want to make this a self self self-therapy session but (laughs) like for example like uh i agree with you about like i can't just be out here just just for pleasure just you know fucking everybody yeah because like i know growing up like you know I, i mean i didn't think about it when i was a kid but now as an adult i'm like i cannot not be there for my kids Cause yeah. like you know that's that's just what I went through like I didn't, I didn't have really like my mom was there but my dad wasn't but even when my mom was she really wasn't because she's like working all the time yeah exactly. so I'm like 
I can't not let that happen again because it's like. Then you feel you feel yeah. like an asshole, man. Yeah, because it's like, what the fuck was the point then? <laughs> yeah, then your child's gonna grow up and be like, <laughs> they might have some resentment towards right. you. And shit. It's like, right. damn, I tried though, man. But right, right. That's why you really gotta find someone who's like, they gotta put in as, at least as much effort as you do at the end of the day. Right. Man. You put as much effort as they do. Right. Like, yeah. And just just certain things, like you yeah. said, you go on, you know, you go through life, you learn how to do that. Because at first. You think that's, you know, not that you think that's what you want, but that, let's say that is what you want. Yeah. But you don't even know how to do it. <laughs> you yeah. know? It's like, how do I know this person's even worth it? Like, nobody, that's yeah. another thing. Like, nobody teaches you that shit in school. There's nope. no, there's no school. <laughs> I mean, I guess now there's like, you know, like dating coaches or whatever. Yeah. And self-help books. But. And even that shit is crazy. Yeah. It's kind of like, kind of socially um conditioning you. Because, like, OnlyFans and shit, bro, like, <laughs> oh some God. people are learning love through that shit or, like, Pornhub. Oh, yeah. They're like, all right, this, this is what women like, like, fucking <laughs> pounding and shit. Yeah, like. that, shit is, that shit is rough. But, I mean, yeah, going back to, like, just, just watching nature, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, man, like, I end up, like, I'm not saying it's okay, but, like, I do end up forgiving, you know, those people that live that lifestyle because it's, like, at the end of the day, like there is something in you you don't even you don't even know that it's going on, but you're just like I have to find, if not the strongest, like ma- mating person, the one that can provide the most. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like so I understand <laughs> why there's and yeah, and I, just, I understand why there's just like females out there that are just like blatantly like, I want you for your money, and if you're not gonna do that, then goodbye. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> like, <I> that's <laughs> kind of like survival of the fittest yeah, for them yeah. right now and shit. It's like, um, and then, um, like nature, like natural selection now is like your bank account and shit. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. It's so, like how much you got. Like, oh, that, now now you're more desirable. Uh, now you have more potential. Um, um, yeah, it's just more potential. Opportunities. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Like, <laughs> right. So you know, if if you're somebody out there that's like i mean i'm not saying once again that i agree that this is how it should be but mm. this is how this certain simulation is yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> was, yeah maybe when the reset button gets pressed and you start another one it's different <laughs> nah, I, <laughs> nah man real shit i've been looking into like since since last time i've been looking into a lot of shit like hacking social no, okay. social conditioning because like that's that's Really, what motherfuckers are doing at the end of the day, man? Social conditioning through the media. Yeah, for sure. Where it's That's like, um, yeah, it's, it's like, all right, we want you to think a certain way, so we gotta do this, and this, and that. And um, yeah, I was like watching mad shit. And it's like hacking is like some shit everyone does, but if you if you like really season with that shit. It's like, bro, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, that's what I was thinking <laughs> too. Yeah, like, you know, it's just, uh, it's just certain things. I guess we don't understand. Like, you, maybe you and I, like, you probably yeah. know more than I do. <laughs> like, nah, at least like, okay. I wish I, I learned like coding and shit, man, right? Because like, I'd have been able. To yeah, because if you really <laughs> like go that far down that I guess rabbit hole, mm-hmm. it's like you can do a lot. Yeah, you know, like a lot of good or bad, unfortunately. So, like, you know? <laughs> like one one example is like, it, like hacking people. For example, like if um if it's like you and your boy, you're walking um, you're like you're walking like side by side and shit, but you both you you come like towards a door or something. Say like somebody with a hacker mindset, if they don't want to touch the door, nah, okay. Like if they don't want to get their hands dirty, mm-hmm. they might just fall back for a little bit and then give the other person the opportunity <laughs> to like open the door so it's like all right it, it, it seems like something little but the person who opened the door didn't realize like oh i only opened it because he didn't want to open it and it's like oh, oh okay, shit gotcha if you all look right. at it that way like or or other shit like um like all the time like third party companies calling your phone or <laughs> right. and like yo um your 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 credit card is kind of like um it's kind of maxed out. We 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 might be able to help you if you give us your your credit card number and the expiration date on the back. Right. We'll be able to help you out. Like okay, <laughs> and now motherfucker got your credit card and like ah oh, damn crazy. like 
<laughs> so that's like, yeah, a lot of that shit is happening without even people realizing. So I was like, damn, that's that's really cybersecurity. Because like everyone's worried, everyone's looking at the government to help them like, hey, cybersecurity, the people trying to steal my shit. At the end of the day, you got to look out for your own cybersecurity, man. <laughs> yeah, like, that's true. You might be giving up way more information than you're supposed to. So, oh, especially, yeah, definitely. Like, and especially these companies like Facebook, man, like they're they're taking your shit and selling it. That's how they're making a lot of their money, selling it to third parties. Then they hit you up or add you to email lists. And now that they got like, now they're using you for advertising and shit. So yeah, like that's like that whole world. I mean, it kind of goes deeper into like just um, uh, what's the word like just m- more universe layers in a way Mm -hmm. because it's like yeah we're living in our universe out here you know interacting with people but then the internet itself is definitely like a whole universe and then even within that like every page like facebook has its own thing youtube it's its own thing and it's like instagram yeah instagram and it's it's like it's definitely a world in itself because it's like you could literally live in it i think (laughs) <laughs> you know, yeah. like, you can, I think literally living there like kind of like that old Dave Chappelle sketch where he went to the internet yeah. and it was just like you know porn sites and he's, all he's doing is looking for the score of the next game yeah. and then it's like pop-ups like gambling and and uh, just just uh, it's really yeah. like that too yeah. like you, you try to look for your sports and you get distracted with some other shit you see some titties and like oh there's some nice things <laughs> right. you click, click on that and like oh and then you're in another world so it's like yo you, you really gotta regulate your not, not only your, like, your physical diet but your social media your, your, your media intake diet overall and shit like yo what is healthy for me like yeah, am I am I using this too much? That's one thing that's definitely like, um, no. sorry, I'm trying to go back on live. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one thing that's like, I uh, hopefully, I mean, if, if people do want to keep going in this digital age, like they definitely have to start having like from a very early age discussions. Yeah, that like you can't just <laughs> you can't just like believe everything and go on every <laughs> site and uh just like. Just you have to like filter yourself, you know, and that's something yeah. that I, I mean, I think we weren't taught that at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. bro. When I was, yo, when I was fucking, when the internet was popping off, I was on AIM, bro. Oh, fucking talking to <laughs> random days. strangers, talking about right. a- ASL, age, sex, location. Yeah. Then we get talking to some freaky shit. Like I'm fucking twelve years old and stuff, bro. <laughs> I could be talking to a fucking catfish, motherfucking right. dude, like. 40 years old or some shit but i don't know man (laughs) yeah you gotta regulate i I don't i don't think the rug the government should be able to regulate it man because then that's how you get like authoritarianism and shit but at least give us some fucking education please man (laughs) yeah for sure let us let us know what's up man yeah even um i mean this i guess it's kind of advanced but even like all these youtube um like laws and and same thing with Facebook, like mm-hmm. what what they will censor you and not censor you for, it's like you don't even know, like because at the end of the day, that's never gonna be like like as clear as night and day. Like it's always gonna be yeah. kind of a gray area. <laughs> yeah, because it, it changed day by day. Like um, <laughs> like it's just yesterday, that's the reason you finally take down Trump shit after right. like <laughs> saying you're gonna do it so long. Like, yeah, it <laughs> depends on what happens, like. Yeah, yeah, but, and I guess it also depends on, like, who's in charge and what yeah, yeah. What, uh, what they want to Yeah, what the agenda there. is. Because, yeah. yeah, I've seen, like, a lot of bullshit on YouTube, man. Like, um, I don't know, Belle, Del- Belle Delphine, she got her fucking, um, that OnlyFans bitch. Right. She got her, um, she got her YouTube, um, shut down for, like, I guess, sexual content. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> like, um. I was on YouTube like um, a few weeks ago, and I'm like watching some um, a tech video, like one of those um, tech guys who just sits down and talks about some like current events. I look under the video; the first ad is like some bitch's titties and the, the nipples <laughs> poking through like a see-through shirt. I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> like wait, this how how they right. ban that girl for sexual content? <laughs> but I'm getting the ad like. 
I could have been like five years old looking right, at this Right, and that's an ad. Like, <laughs> I'm looking at a tech video, bro. What are you doing right now? Yeah, it's crazy. See, this has nothing to do with what I'm watching. Yeah, that's another thing. I, I never, like, I, obviously, there's still got a lot of fixing to do, but, like, just mm-hmm. the algorithm of just how you browse for shit. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just it's still very fucked up and then it could take you down like some places you probably shouldn't be going <laughs> yeah. and it's just like like there's just there's certain shit that like like going back to the nature stuff I, I don't mind seeing like a, a Instagram page let's say of mm-hmm. like real animals like killing each other like obviously for food, like they're not they're not doing it like us. I think I seen one because they because we don't <laughs> like what we said. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like, cause they're doing it because they're hungry. Real shit. Uh, like that kind of shit, I'll see. But like, if I see like a fucking like a girl with high heels stopping on a kitten, like you know oh, shit yeah, like yeah. that, like yeah, like it's, that, it's, like how how is that like there? And obviously, like we can't say yes and no to everything yeah but this shit like that i can't see like uh, it's not like i'm not gonna let that <laughs> enter my eyes you real know? shit that should be all over twitter too <laughs> yeah. man like i'm on twitter a lot and yeah. like i gotta be careful where i click man because like i could be looking at a funny ass meme that i turn around and see like well some next shit like all right yeah that's sure like that. damn son i gotta wash my eyes with soap or <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> bleach or some shit man right so i <laughs> hope i mean i think that's the i mean not that once again i don't have the answers to life but yeah that's kind of the reason why you got to be careful as to like what you type in like the search bar and shit like that because then yeah if it's not like if not if it's not what you really want to see they're gonna take you down that road because they think that's how you are yeah and it's like i'm not trying to see some like he says some like next level just like I should not have seen that, and nobody else should have. Like, yeah, so, <laughs> that's why yeah. I love. That's why I love Dave Chappelle, man. He's able to like put like this kind of crazy shit <laughs> into like a funny way for you to try to understand. <laughs> yeah, I even uh, you don't you barely get comics like that anymore, man. Everyone's trying to toe the line or not yeah, say anything sad, too yeah. offensive. Yeah, I, I, I listen to a lot of comics because, you know, like, there's no actual stand-up comedy, so they yeah. got podcasts, and mm-hmm. that's what they all say. It's like, we can't even do our jobs no more because <laughs> it's like, everybody gets triggered, you know, there's always... Like fucking Bill Burr and shit, bro. Right. Yeah, yeah, man, it's like one of my favorites. I listen yeah. to him twice a week, every week, yeah. and it's like, I'm not offended ever, like, <laughs> it's like, he's not... Look. He's the not, last time he yeah. was on SNL too, like he yeah. made that good ass uh, monologue. Yeah, I think he was yeah. getting at white women for the <laughs> the Black Lives Matter shit. Right, and then yeah. they were even trying to give him shit for that. But like, yo, shut the fuck up. He's right. Bill he, he said it on Saturday Night Live. What are you gonna do? Man? Yeah, like, I mean, at the end of the okay. day, it's it's not even like. I mean, obviously, like I, there could be an argument against this, but he's just kind of stating what he sees. Mm-hmm. It's not like his opinion. It's just like. This is, this is what's going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and sometimes humor is like the best way to get a message across to something, man. Like, yeah, that's true. Because like uh, some sugar, it helps the medicine go down, man. Like, right. If, like, fucking tell them the truth, but make them laugh. And then later on, they'll think about it, like, wait, that motherfucker's right. Like, that's what, yeah. that's what's dope about um George Carlin and shit, man. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's another person who I wish was around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to man. talk about all this stuff. Yeah, if he was here, bro, <laughs> he he would be the voice of reason. Like, all right, he, yeah. he, he, know, he, he basically knew what was going on, like, fucking in the 80s and shit, bro. Yeah, like, all his, uh, like, I mean, not all of them, but there was a point, like, where he, obviously he just matured and, like, saw past all the bullshit. And he just tell us straight up. And like, yeah. luckily, he made it funny at the same yeah. time. <laughs> it was like he, was, he he would tell just yeah, just people straight up like, this is how you're fucking up. This is what it's gonna be like if you keep fucking up. Yeah. And I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, and then people would just like some people just laughed at it and you know forgot about it. Some people like laughed and thought about it and hopefully you know made the right decision. <laughs> yeah, but uh, some people just. 
They're watching it now, and they're like, wait, this guy's dead? I thought he oh, was yeah. talking about this shit last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, this shit's still relevant. <laughs> it's so, yeah, it's so, like, um, it, it, it sounds like he was here, yep. and he's just talking about what's going on today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you know, people like that, like, um, like I, I wish had more exposure. I mean, obviously, he was, he was pretty big when he was alive, but. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's, nowadays. Um, I mean, I don't know who like I'm not, nothing against Kevin Hart because I think his last stand up special was actually like pretty good as far as like setting a good message. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you know, I feel like it is needs to be more that like George Carlin type of <laughs> you know comedian and entertainer <laughs> right now. I think that's maybe it. that's not what Hollywood wants, right? Yeah, now, no, unfortunately, like, yeah, yeah, right. Maybe they'd rather have him shut up. You know, or get cens- censored by Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, shit, man. That's why I was, that's why I was kind of surprised that somebody. I mean, obviously, Bill Burr is a like a good comedian, and you know he's been in a lot of like mainstream shit. Mm-hmm. But like, I kind of expected that type of model because <laughs> it's like <laughs> that's who he is. That's how he talks. That's how he like his his act is. Yeah, and it's like to me. SNL now and just like NBC and all these like major like uh, TV networks yeah. like they're not like not <laughs> necessarily like that kind of like idealism like you know mindset yeah they're, they're <laughs> trying to tell you a whole different other yeah yeah exactly they're trying to make you like complacent with what's going on and <laughs> fucking Bill Burr's trying to like tell you like hey man this is bullshit George Carlin is <laughs> like yo this is fucking bullshit bro all like, right <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. But what? I hope, I mean, I hope there's somebody, like, hope not just listening to us, but in general listening to, like, all these, uh, just, I guess, wise. Like, it's funny, because I think of comedians as, like, modern philosophers. That's yeah, just yeah. what they really are. They're just kind of, like, yep. they're just explaining, like, our way of life, how we think, and just trying to make it funny. <laughs> Take yep. for us, you know. So I hope somebody, like, you know, on the come up right now is trying to not necessarily like be them, but like have that style in them, you know, in a millennial way. <laughs> Ho- yeah, hopefully, you have been influenced by the greats and shit. Man. Right. Yeah. That's why. I mean, obviously, like comedy is is one of those art forms that you know it makes sense that the best ones are the oldest ones because they just been <laughs> yeah. through more shit. Yeah, yeah. And they can talk about more like just experiences and stuff you know yeah that's true that's true and yeah that's why a lot of um comedians you see them start young and shit and that's when they're like really like in the trenches and shit but then when they get older it's like oh shit and then you see like that's kind of like when they're in their prime and shit you know right yeah exactly yeah. it's kind of uh that's what i don't like about the uh i guess the music industry and just mm. like i was saying back to the point that like a lot of the industries of the arts are kind of fucked up. Yeah, but, yeah. like especially um, rap music. Yeah, man. <laughs> like yeah, because it's like I mean, rightfully so. Like people, man, I don't, I really don't know how to use this fucking Instagram shit, bro. <laughs> like this is the fifth time. All right, try again. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps going off. <laughs> yeah, days. I think because once again this phone is a uh, not the real bro. Come on. This phone is a six, and I, I they just want to phase everything out. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. I know people have been like coming on and off and commenting, but I can't even see it because it shuts off. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, people. Yeah, commenting. people are commenting, and you know, <laughs> so uh, yeah, just write into us. Remember, mm-hmm. uh, if you guys are watching on Instagram, <laughs> you can always comment on shit. Yes, and send messages, and uh, you can email. Uh, uh, just go to the website, datadeviewmusic.com. You can do everything there. <laughs> yes, uh, sorry, back to what I was saying about, uh, yeah, just like the music industry is like, if you're not popping right away when you're a teenager, it's like, that's it. You can't make it. <laughs> it's kind of like the illusion, <laughs> that's the illusion they, they like give you. And it's like, you know, I feel like that's another thing that like on, the older you are, the better you're quality of shit will be because it's just better you know yeah just practice more i think it's that's that's starting to change i think because um who's that dude Fa- um, pop smokes boy fabio foreign right yeah i just saw that 
He's like 30 something. He was trying to right. hide his age and shit. <laughs> Cause I guess he was scared. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. But, but it's like, it, now you got the internet, man. Some nigga who's like 50 years old can rap some shit, go viral. Right. And then he, he becomes like a meme successful. Right. It's like, so there's not no age limit no more. Like, even if you're, um, you know, like 30, 40, if you spit some ill shit or like make a, a banger, mm -hmm. people are going to listen to it. But yeah, they do want to push the younger people. And at the same time, like, damn, yo, y'all got to be responsible with these younger people. You're bringing them into the game. What are they right. going to do? They're going to take their record label advance. They're going to, you know, like, buy clothes, buy a car, buy mad drugs. And then, you know, like, they're still upholding the gang culture that they just left. Right. And um, doing even worse drugs than they were doing before. And then that kind of leads yeah, down just... the downward spiral. And it's kind of like it's become like a factory in its own way, like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like because you look, you look at Juice World, XXX, Tentacion, um, Lil Peep, um, right, Mac Miller, yeah, Mac yeah. Miller. All their shit blew up. Like they were successful um, when they were alive, but once you die, it's like oh shit, the label's gonna rush out the yeah, unfinished it's crazy, projects. Right? Yeah, it's <laughs> oh like oh the this song's unfinished, whatever. Just put this, put the baby on it or something. Put this oh, other right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's but like, like a formula now. Yeah, shit. it's like we're gonna make some money off off of this this shit. So right, that's sad. Like, it's like, right. damn, son, y'all rappers need to like really like take back control of their shit, man. Like, like the fucking um MAGA motherfuckers. Did, oh know, yeah, right. Yeah, trying to take control of their country. Go, go storm the Warner Brothers <laughs> <laughs> executive <laughs> go, go storm Universal, man. Like <laughs> sitting in their office chair, like, yo, man. <laughs> Fucking right. I mean, me, I don't know. If give me really, my masters back. Right. I don't know if this really happened. Like you know, in the Straight Outta Compton movie, how Ice Cube did. <laughs> oh yeah. You know that's I mean, some shit like <laughs> <it probably laughs> something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, he was like, "Yo, you motherfuckers are screwing me, man." Like, <laughs> I know my worth. All right. Yeah, you know that's the like? sad part. Like, just uh, people outside looking in, just hoping, like, mm -hmm. oh, if I get a deal, like, I'll be able to stop being poor. But he, like. Nobody ever tells you a deal is basically a loan. Like, yep. you, know, it's like, you gotta pay that shit back. Yeah, it's like probably with interest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like any loan is gonna have interest, you know. Like yeah. just about, and it's like no, there's no such thing as free money. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, just nobody's gonna give you money, man. Especially like a million dollar company. Hell no! They're trying yeah. to make. They're trying to make money. They they'll give you a little something to make it back. They want your first album to to go exceed expectations right if it doesn't damn bro you screwed you still gotta pay that shit back bro yeah exactly you better go back to selling drugs <laughs> yeah that's i mean like it's the good thing about um you know soundcloud and all that like mm -hmm. and youtube it's like it, you really don't need <laughs> the big labels anymore yeah, i mean i'm don't. pretty sure if i was like you know if this podcast was produced by like one of those npr or whatever <laughs> like they could put more money into like the setup, but yeah, uh, then the I, content I can't do anything. Yeah, I have to do what they tell me. Basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? True. It's like going back to you know China. Like if you if your company gets popping in China, then <laughs> like, then your like China's you, property. You, <laughs> you, you can't say nothing about them no more, man. You can't right. criticize none. Of, no government, man. Yeah, yeah. Like you got you yeah. got some special interest here. <laughs> yeah yeah that's the i mean you know we we kind of do shit on america and other people do shit on us but <laughs> yeah. the fact that like i mean it's obviously it's not right that like these people were able to actually go in there and do shit and you know peaceful protesters can't fucking yeah we can't, even, break, you know? can't even cross the street bro right <laughs> but it is i mean i guess it is a good thing that that's possible you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> like obviously it's not like you know, <laughs> yeah it might not proof, right now yeah. at least not possible for everyone but it kind of shows you it can be done man yeah for sure <laughs> like I, I mean i guess like so far i i know of like one death or maybe two or some shit like that i think they said four <laughs> but, oh, okay but it was um they like legit shot one woman in, inside of the building right yes yeah, so i saw that so, yeah, yeah that's yeah. crazy but even looking on social media, a lot a lot of the people on that side are making her out to be a martyr and shit. Like, <laughs> right. like, oh, she's a she's a hero. I mean, like, 
honestly, like, for me, like, if somebody's willing to die for what whatever they believe in, all right, hats off to you, man. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the thing. Like, they, like, I mean, I hope that they knew once, <laughs> once they were gonna do that, that there was a high chance of dying. Like, yeah, you yeah. don't just think you're gonna storm the capital building of a country and not get any pushback you know yeah it doesn't matter who you are apparently even if you are an american citizen or or, or a white woman man that's yes i feel like there's gonna be a lot of blowback from that shit man like, right because like that's who they care about if they die like yo you killed oh, one right. of our, our fellow white women like, right right now they're gonna hope i, I if they don't raise hell, I'm gonna be looking at them like, "Yo, y'all pussy, man!" <laughs> like, yeah, it's true. Yeah, because because forever, you know, you always think about the woman and the children. Yeah, <laughs> and like you said, especially if it's a white one. So yeah. if you don't, then it's like, damn, you really don't give a fuck about anybody. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Even when Breonna Taylor, um, when that trial came out, and then um, that David Cameron dude came out, right. the black dude, they they brought him out to say like, "Oh, yeah." You know, she, she she basically got what she what, what, what it wasn't our fault, but right. you know, circumstances and yeah, and wiped his hands of it. And it's, I was mad at that shit too, but I was like, yo, now's the time, man. Now motherfuckers are gonna be like, nah, we're gonna fight for Breonna Taylor. <laughs> but when that shit kind of blew over, I was like, damn. We we fucking pussy man. We we not about to. Do yeah, that's that's another thing. Like, I mean, I guess we kind of touched on it already. Um, but that's yeah. definitely another thing I want to talk to people about. You know, not just you, but mm -hmm. just people in general. Like, I mean, I know somebody like you where it's not just gonna forget about you know BLM. Yeah. But I feel like, like that everyone was on social media like, yeah. yo, hashtag BLM, blackout pictures. You know, mm -hmm. um, hey, I'm at a protest. Look right. at my outfit. <laughs> And it's like, damn, man, we missed the whole point. All right. That's that's kind of like, I mean, I hate to say it, but I kind of saw that coming. Yeah, man. Because it's like, yeah. I just, I mean, I'm not saying, once again, I'm the master of life, but I, yeah. I feel like I know people right now, <laughs> man. Yeah, Especially Americans, man. It's like, Especially looking at nature documentaries, like, yes, yeah, it's, it's human nature, man. All right. It's just like. Everyone got their, their own fight to battle, man. Like, yeah. You're not going to, not one fight is going to bring everyone together. But I feel like the the two thousand dollar checks were mad close, bro. Oh yeah, because like it's, everyone was gonna benefit off that shit, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Left or right, black and white, like all right, let me get, let me get two thousand dollars, bro. This shit'll help. Yeah. But yeah. they even took that away, bro. When I saw that, I was like, uh, now it's six hundred dollars. You know, maybe people would be like, wait. But then they were like, all right, I'll take six hundred dollars. Whatever. Right. <laughs> yeah, maybe like. I feel like it, if you uh if you have a low expectations <laughs> of shit now, like everything is gonna be okay because it's like, oh, it didn't turn out as bad as I thought. It would. Yeah, yeah. Like, even though it's still pretty shitty, <laughs> you can still have low expectations and be dis disappointed. Bro. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But, right? but yeah, that's true. You gotta keep your low expectations low because I was like looking forward to Cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> right. People were looking forward to Playboy Cardi's album. <laughs> then that shit, they oh, yeah. were saying that shit was trash. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a lot of things uh, that um, I'm just like, damn, that sucks. <laughs> like that's kind of your only reaction. Like you can't even. I mean, like for me, I don't know. I don't know how other people reacted, but I kind of wish I did. Like when they first saw what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, like going back to like. You know, Bill Burr, he talks a lot about, like, when he sees, like, sad shit, he actually laughs out of, like, nervousness. Because he doesn't, he's not the type to, like, actually, like, cry or feel bad. <laughs> yeah. and I, I think that's what I ended up doing. I was just going through Instagram. And, like, first of all, that's a bad place to find your news. <laughs> but, yeah, I was going through Instagram, you know, being ignorant and shit. It might be better than the mainstream media, man. Yeah, that's I ain't gonna true. Lie. At least you, they're not pushing an opinion on you. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. I don't know a single media outlet that like, yeah. uh, is not biased to its own side. But yep. yeah, I was just like, I was seeing all these pictures of what's going on in there. I was just laughing. I'm like, this is this is funny. Like just just how Donald Trump. Half the shit he said to me was funny. Yeah. And like, this shit is funny. Obviously, it's not cool, but. 
It's just funny. It's <laughs> like Gladiator, man. Are you not entertained? You're right. <laughs> Are you not? Like, yo, I'm, it's entertaining. I'm not going to lie, man. Yeah. Hey, we don't got that many movies or, <laughs> you know, uh, live events to go to. So yeah. We got to be entertained somehow. <laughs> they put the Marvel Cinematic Universe on hold and shit. Oh, yeah. Right, are, right. All people got the Mandalorian and shit, bro. Yeah, and you finish that in like five <laughs> hours or less. <laughs> so, yo, what's next, man? Yeah, that's sad. That's another thing. Like, uh, I know we kind of keep going from topic to topic, but that's another thing. Like, all these shows, like, if you think about it, it's so many shows, and they just get watched in an instant, and it's like, all right, throw away, throw that away. What's the next thing? Like, bring it on. Yeah, what happened to fucking seasons and shit, bro? Like, right. Stretch that shit out a little bit. Yeah, I remember, you know, like, back in the good old days on Saturday mornings, like, mm -hmm. you know, Yu-Gi-Oh would do one thing, and then he'd just, like, leave me at a cliffhanger with the card. Like, I don't know what the card is. I gotta <laughs> wait till next week to find out what the card is. <laughs> But then next week you back <laughs> at it like yo, what's going on this week? All right, <laughs> and then it's like now you watch the whole Yu-Gi-Oh series in like two days and shit. Like yeah, that was cool. What, what's the next anime? <laughs> right, <laughs> that's yeah. why Cr Crunchyroll got to have like 200, 500 animes on right. their shit. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy, yeah. and they just kind of keep coming and. I don't see an end. So <laughs> yeah, man, consumer culture. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's gotten this fast. This. <laughs> This powerful, man. Yeah, so I, th I guess that's why, you know, filters are definitely important. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Even even not just, like, entertainment, but, like, just everything we consume, like, the food, the the water, the, the people. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. like, it's like you got to be able to tell yourself, like, I had enough of you or, or that. <laughs> like, like, I think that was, like, some, where I fucked up during the quarantine. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't not, nah, like... I, I don't know why it is about me, but like, mm -hmm. as I go through the day, like, if I'm going about, like, my, I guess, set schedule that I put for myself, yeah, I don't have time to think about, like, junk food. Like, it's just like, all right, give me an apple and I'm set for the next couple of hours, whatever. Yeah. And that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> but I'm just fucking sitting around here and be like, you know what? Let's see what's on Uber Eats. <laughs> let's see what's popping on Uber Eats right now. Like, you know, it's going back to just like being a fucking consumer with no filter. And it's like, yeah, you know, you got to have that filter by it. I mean, that's just how I do it. I just do do things, productive mm -hmm. things throughout the day. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not fucking you know, eating out of boredom or some shit. <laughs> it's rough, man, because th everything's coming mad easily nowadays, so it's yeah, like, why exactly. not indulge? Yeah, but, yeah. It's just, you know, just because you can't do it doesn't mean you should. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I, yeah, just because you could eat a whole pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, a whole pie. You're going to feel bad about it later on, man. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> like, uh, not only do you feel bad mentally, but, like, eventually you feel bad physically like uh, the other day yeah. i ate popeyes for mm -hmm. the first time in a while and i fucking love popeyes that shit is crack yeah <laughs> but i felt like i felt like nauseous and kind of wanted to throw up because so i'm like I, I mean maybe my body isn't used to it anymore i'm just getting old or whatever it is or that food really is getting worse <laughs> but yeah. I'm, like, I'm like ah this, i think this is officially the last time because like my body doesn't even want this shit no more yeah, man, be like <laughs> that sometimes. Like, you're telling me, like, you know, that five seconds of, like, mm, that tastes good is worth it for, like, 30 minutes of just, like, I want to die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you feel that, that, that the fucking constipation coming on. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck is going on, man? This wasn't happening when I was growing up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, shit. yeah, definitely got to regulate your diet. And the and the social media diet, man. Yeah, exactly. He's a, he's, and and the media diet, man. Like, yeah, and the social diet. Yeah, Cause yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> even though we have to uh, interact as like human beings, like but, I mean, you just know yourself. Like you kind of get that feeling that like I shouldn't really be with this person. <laughs> yeah, because you might be chilling with a person who only. You're only chilling with them, and every time you chill with them, you got to drop, like, $50, $80. <laughs> yeah. 
And then <laughs> you, 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 after a month, you chill them 10 times. You're like, oh, damn, I'm, I got to put in more work at work. I, I'm broke now and shit. <laughs> right. It's like, yeah, so maybe, maybe you should stop. Maybe you should, like, chill on the chilling part of, like, at least with this person. Right. Yeah, like, exactly. Because like, uh, some, some people, you just chill and, and, like, just talk and shit without right. having to indulge in consumer culture and shit. Right. Well, some friendships are just straight up based off of that, man. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, you kind of got to go through it in order to, like, learn that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you do. Because, you know, that's another thing that you're not really taught in school. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. bro. Like, yeah, we, yeah, we, we, this podcast right here is the education now, man. The I hang. so, too, yeah. Like, because, like, we're telling you shit that, some people won't won't tell you, man. Yeah, that's one thing. Life I, lessons, you know. When I started this, and that's kind of another reason why I wanted to start a podcast because I'm like, I listen to the other ones, and it's like I learn more from that than like fucking going to a class. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so, bro. <laughs> and then you know, it's also like basically uncensored. Mm-hmm. And going back to the point, like if you don't like what you're hearing, just fucking change the channel. Nobody's making you listen to this. Exactly. Even though, please go tell your friends to listen. Yeah, we try <laughs> trying to get the viewership up, man. You know, I know it's not gonna be for everybody, so you know, like well, it's I, gonna be for somebody. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I know there's plenty of people that that definitely uh, could use you know all this information and whatever. Whatever you yeah. want to call it, <laughs> yeah. it's just two two reg- regular guys talking about the experience, man. Like, yeah, man, and we definitely. I mean, everybody thinks, um, like so many people tell me, like, oh, I don't know if you know, I I'll I'll be a, like, I really know what to say, or I don't want to go on because I'm not interesting. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know how many people like <laughs> thought that. And yeah. then afterwards, they're like, holy shit, that was great. I want to do it again. <laughs> yeah, everyone got something to say, man. Everyone got a story to tell, man. Like, yeah, so that, and it's good shot. It's good to listen to those stories, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, don't be stuck with one, your own story. Don't be stuck with one one way of mind and shit. Yeah, hell you know, yeah. There's a whole world out there, man. Before, I, like, I don't want to stretch this on for, like, three hours <laughs> but like bef- before uh like one last thing going back to like the comedy shit have you have you heard of um joey diaz oh yeah joe rogan's boy yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah. and i think that's one of the guys kind of like bill burr is another one maybe mm-hmm. that like i like to listen to them like i know they're offensive as fuck sometimes <laughs> <laughs> always trying to cancel them yeah. <laughs> like every other week but the thing is that, like, they're just telling shit, like, how it really was. Like, they're just telling stories from them, like, growing up, going through crazy shit. Yeah. And it's just, like, to me, that's, like, that's class. Like, class is in session. I'm going to shut shut the <laughs> fuck up for two hours or however long this podcast episode is. And I'm going to just listen to what they got to say. Because, I mean, not only are they, like, double my age, but, mm-hmm. you know, they're, to me, they're successful. And why would I not want to learn from, like what they went through or they got to say yeah. obviously i don't have to accept everything like i'm not gonna like i mean he said it himself already so i'm pretty sure he doesn't mind but like how he used to like do cocaine every fucking day and like yeah just like fuck hookers and shit <laughs> like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go do that but <laughs> like listen to his story let <laughs> lets you know like what you should do and shit right do. that's, that's <laughs> the point and like i think that's what people once again i'm not telling you how to live life yeah <laughs> but i it's think like that's, that's how you learn you know yeah find different aspects of what this what life is like what it's still a mystery to us but try to discover as much as you can get as many perspectives as you can and hopefully you'll be able to make sense of this shit better man because 2021 yeah, sure. shit is about to get a lot more confusing a lot more crazier than last year, dog. Yeah, man. That's why I'm not really a, a believer of New Year's because you know, it's really just another month. <laughs> yeah, I, I, found, I found it hard. <laughs> I found it hard to bring myself to say Happy New Year to people because it's like, what the fuck? What do I know about a Happy New Year? It could be a terrible New Year, man. Right. Like, like, I'm not. I'm not like a priest ble- blessing people and shit. Like, like you have a happy. Like, one. You have a happy one. <laughs> Not <laughs> <you>. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> like, bro, I don't know what the fuck's going on tomorrow, <laughs> man. Like, yesterday the, the capital got stormed, man. Like, happy yeah. new year. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> six days right. after Christmas. that. I think it was on, on uh, I, don't, I don't know Americans don't do this much, but mm-hmm. it was on uh, Three Kings Day. So, mm-hmm. happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Happy Kwanzaa, man. <laughs> right, yeah. Way to end the holiday season. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, before before we wrap it up, is there anything you got? I mean, I know it's like kind of still quarantine here in New York, so yeah, like you know, we're kind of limited to what you could do. But is there like anything you want to? Well, uh, on the bright side of all this, like this temporary socialism going on. I I was able to take some of the government's money that they they politely <laughs> gave to me last year, bought a little crib studio. My man nice. David got here and shit. Now I'm in the lab at, at the crib, man. I got a few tracks coming out soon. I'm gonna try to drop one this this month. The next joint will probably be called Luxurious Enterprises. Uh, I, re- I remember, I remember that I recorded shit. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I bumped that shit today, like like nowadays, and I'm like, damn. So I reported that back then, but it's kind of like a story about capitalism, celebrating that shit. Yeah, man, I love that song. As soon as I heard it, I'm like, that's why I, I honestly, I fuck once again. I fuck with Don since day one because I was like, appreciate. It, I, I just kind of, you know, you know, uh, I was basically in a way. The in-house engineer at Queens College for one point, like Hell yeah. all the fucking work got um, thrown at me, which like I'm forever grateful for. The best of the best, yeah, right but, here. Uh, like yeah, like I didn't know what to expect. Like I would just meet these people, and it's like, all right, we're in the studio, I'm gonna press record, you start. Yep. And then it's like, you know, I was hearing these songs, and I'm like, man, ain't nobody talking about shit like this. <laughs> like this is like really unique. Yeah. So, you know. I, I've been sitting on them for a while and shit, waiting till I I be able to like, so I had my boy mix some shits, mm-hmm. but now I had now I got my own shit to be able to master it. Oh, cool! Now I can like start dropping these shits. Got you hooked me up with the dis, distro t- kid. Um, oh, shit, that's right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I signed up for that. Shit's easy, man. Yeah, so like, if once y'all again, wanna, you don't need a label. <laughs> yeah, if y'all at home want to make music and shit, you know. It's easy nowadays, man. Fuck. Yeah, it definitely is. You don't gotta do Kanye West peeing on the Oscar and shit, all that <laughs> shit, bro. Peeing on the Grammy. Right. You don't gotta do all that, man. Just make your music, go your own pace. Yeah, as long as it's yeah, as long fuck. as it's you, cause hell yeah. I mean, I found that like when I try to, I guess, uh, not copy, but just like. Um, Try to do it the way somebody else does it. I was like, man, that shit's whack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put that out. Like, <laughs> yeah. So you know, and that's, people people are gonna recognize that. So I think, mm-hmm. I think you know, I think the people that or the music that people end up liking, like somehow they know that it's like it's not fake. Like, yeah. Uh, like I know, for example, um, yeah, like I just 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 kind of an easy one, Gucci Mane, like. I don't do the things he does, but at the same time, like to me, like it it, it didn't sound fake. Like I believe them. Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. like, I believe yeah. you do this stuff. Exactly. <laughs> <You know? bro. laughs> so it's just like somehow yeah. you know. So you know, don't ever like not do it because you're like, oh, what if it's not like this person? <laughs> you know, what if it's not as good as this person? Like. But that's not the point. <laughs> you gotta, you got you, you're your own standard, yo. You gotta right. f- beat, beat, beat yourself. Beat what you did last. Right, and right. Shit, like, don't worry about the next motherfucker, man. Yeah, just keep like, it going, and mm-hmm. yeah, just like, don't, don't hate. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, that thing is like, it sounds very really simple, but like, I feel like that solves a lot of problems. Yeah, just don't be a hater. <laughs> <will be Yeah. laughs> Yo, try to understand the, the the motherfucker next to you, man. Like, try to, right. you know, instead of instead of all that hate and that shit, bro. What the media wants you to do, fucking fight each other yeah, and shit. Yeah, basically a solid, you know. You know, yeah. try to try to use your ears once in a while, man. <laughs> try to listen to some shit. All right. Yeah. Don't don't believe everything you see or read, man. <laughs> Yeah. Fucking listening is a virtue. <laughs> yeah, for sure. There's not a lot of good listeners. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe there are, and I just 
don't choose to listen. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm yeah. whatever, but nah, that's yeah. definitely uh, something we could all improve on. Hell yeah. Yeah, but thanks once again. Thanks for coming by. Anytime, it's always, bro. It's always nice for you. Uh, it's always nice having you over because it's like, you know, yeah. we are, what is it, like, two, yeah, definitely past two hours. Oh, and yeah. it's just easy to do. Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah it should have felt like 10, 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's always just really easy to have somebody like you over. Yeah, and, bro. Um, once again, uh, yeah, yeah, like Don, yeah, he's having new music, but he definitely already has uh, older music you could check out. Uh, yep. I, yeah, I always post I always post the SoundCloud link or whatever. I'm on whatever Apple Music, Spotify now, man. Oh, gotta there get, you go. Exactly. Gotta get my followers up on Spotify. I ain't know nice. it's that important. Yeah, that's... <laughs> like, once, once again, we were talking about this before we started the podcast. I'm so bad at that. Like, yeah. I, I seen every artist, like, even my own friends, like, you know, they, they know their Spotify stats. I have no idea how to access that shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm so yeah. bad at fucking, like, social media and, and just, like, <laughs> apps and like you know stuff that could I'm pretty sure help me out in the long run but, yeah, <laughs> but I'm just not good at that yet so. <laughs> but it'll come uh, one day man we yeah. just keep doing this shit then the producers will come man right yeah exactly <laughs> there you go um so for everybody listening still <laughs> now thanks for listening yes, uh, sir. I, I, now I really have to use the bathroom I'm trying to hold it in cause I don't want to <laughs> stop the flow but um Thanks, thanks for listening. Stay safe out there, and uh, yeah, just just please come back. You know, it's gonna get, it's only gonna get better. Yes, and yeah. regulate your social media yes. diet. Put those, put those. I actually have a. I think that's why I kept shutting off because I actually have a, uh, a a time limit for myself on social media. Oh, we're so that's probably, that's probably why yeah. I kept cutting out. Like, oh shit, you're on Instagram too long. Get yeah, off so I wouldn't doubt that. Uh, yeah. I thought I took it off, but it's cool. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't mind censoring myself. <laughs> but once again, thanks everybody. Uh, we'll have Dom back once again. You know, maybe when For another sure. tragedy happens. <laughs> you were, Shit. Should should be soon. Man. Like, yeah, at, at this know, rate, I fucking no. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. I hope everybody stays safe. Uh, don't cough on people and. Um, Social distancing, yeah, just, yeah, or socialism distancing. You've already heard it, yeah. You already heard it all. So thank you and peace. Let's go. 1980s Japan developed a plan that most can't understand. Overnight, Wall Street on oversight to strike first with a cobra bite. Take over, backseat of a black Range Rover, watched over by a paid soldier. Huh. High risk, high stakes involved If the public knew they'd be appalled But it's not for the Free years though up of the highest peak Come be beside of me And luxurious enterprises Right here at luxurious enterprises So long to my enemies There's no one left but me And luxurious enterprises Right here at luxurious enterprises Feels great, real estate all over the place Home base got its own taste Midtown all towered up Suit and tie all showered up Girls powdered up Competition all sour but When you snooze you lose There's no foul on us Nope Inside information is a part of the game If they knew how to play then they'd all do the same Came in with a clear target Ganged up now we're cornering the market Plus investments in stocks Shutting down the blocks in the mom and pop shops We're taking it down Building this town from the ground up IRS staying around us with me There's no surprises Gotta show love for luxurious enterprises Free up of the highest peak Come be beside of me At luxurious enterprises Right here at luxurious enterprises So long to my enemies There's no one left but me At luxurious enterprises Right here at luxurious enterprises Luxurious Enterprises by Don Ribbon. Stay tuned for another. Uh, just fuck it with you guys. I'm no radio DJ. I could not bear playing the same exact songs all fucking day. <laughs> like listening to the same thing 15 minutes later. Uh, no thanks. I'll pass. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, rather lengthy conversation. To be honest, I don't mind because these are always good to me. And I'm pretty sure they are to you. Um, I always say a lot of ums because I feel like I don't know what to say. 
Well, yeah, no shit, David. I think you're the only one. And there I go, talking to myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, once again, uh, thanks, everybody, once again. And if you were not aware, this podcast is brought to you by David V Music. Uh, if you don't know what David V Music is, go to davidvmusic.com. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Right away, you should be able to tell what it is. <laughs> um, now, I have a, you know, if you, I don't know how you guys are listening, but I always upload the audio first. And, you know, and then the video gets made later words. Um, so if you want to stay updated on all the episodes and you don't have, you're too lazy to go on, a, you know, Apple Podcasts or Spotify, which is really not that hard. But I understand you people are lazy. I understand. Um, so I try to make things easy for you by putting it all in one place. So if you go to davidvmusic.com, not only would you find the YouTube um, embedded on the page all the way at the bottom, but there's also a separate podcast tab that you can uh, click and listen to the videos or the songs, I mean. And the cool thing about... Uh, my website, if you don't want to use, uh, if you're not using Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or whatever app, other app you're listening to podcasts, you can actually uh, lock. I mean, I don't know what non, non-iPhone non things are like, but, you know, you know how stupid ass YouTube, if you lock the screen, it just goes away. <laughs> but that's not the case with the audio. Uh, plus, are you guys really watching the whole time? Like, do you not have a life? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I also watch certain podcasts, but I don't watch them. Like, I'm not there to watch them. I'm there to listen. And if something cool is said about the what's going on, then I I look. But I don't think podcasts are meant to be watched. You know, it's not a movie necessarily. <laughs> no, it's like the same length sometimes. I like this one, but uh, we're already like two two thirty two thirty and into it. Um. But yeah, the whole point of this was to check out davidvmusic.com. And if you guys are into music, um, then why not check it out, you know? If you're a music maker, then check it out. Uh, I, I'm just, I have to make, I have to do a better job of uh, putting everything that I do there. Because, you know, I don't just make music. I mean, yeah, I'm involved in the music scene, but there's more to just like, other than the making the actual music, there's more, you know, it's just general sound, like sound and music, and it's just kind of general. So I have to, um, just have to update it myself, to be honest, and uh, show you, you the other services that I provide, other than just like making a beat for you, whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, I've, I mean, I don't want to use the space to promote myself, but I guess I'm going to do it. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've worked in different venues, you know, just, um, yeah, just different venues. I can't really, I'm not going to sit here and name them all because none of them are open <laughs> anyways. So, uh, I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, go there, check it out. Listen to, listen to how I'm making you listen. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that right now because you can't go anywhere, but I've worked at different venues. Uh, that with different situations, so I'm not just a, a, a music maker. I'm also a technician, I guess you could call it. So anything technical, anything music wise, the only thing I can't do is honestly like play at your wedding. Like I'm still not that great of a musician, <laughs> so I can't just be like one, two, three, four, live in the Vila Loca, and then a fucking band behind me or like me playing the the the. I don't even know what instruments are in that song, the guitar. Yeah, I mean, I can get you one. That's one of the off. That's one of the services I can offer. I can offer you a band. I can put together a band for you for sure, and like, you know, whatever. Just curate the music or whatever DJ. Actually, I can DJ, uh, but I honestly rather not be the one. <laughs> cause, cause you know when I used to DJ, I used to be like, well, I want to be having fun with you guys. Why do I gotta be here in my little? my little box in my little corner like just just pl- pressing play you know like every uh, every three minutes <laughs> to a new song like i want to be over there dancing with you guys and that's why um i'm not that i mean i, li- I like djing 
But then when you're at the party and you can't party, <laughs> like, I understand, you know, at the end of the day, like, I guess it is a job that I'm doing. Um, but I don't feel like I, I, there's there's guys out there that want to do that for a living. I don't know if I want to do that for a living, uh, but I can do it. And I'll definitely uh, find you the best one for your for your event. Anything else that I want to brag about? Uh, once again, uh, shouting out Chris Paul Morales' project, Fuckboy Dave. Uh, once again, I hate that I am, that my name is uh, proceeding the term fuckboy. By the way, I'm saying fuck because it's technically not fuck. <laughs> so I guess that was like his idea, but. Yeah, fuck boy Dave. Go check it out uh, on Instagram. Either either his Instagram, Chris Paul Morales, or the um, or the 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 film's Instagram, fuck boy Dave. It, remember F U G G B O I D A V E, all one word. And then that's where you'll see the link to in what is it indie indie something. You know, in other words, he just he just needs your help. Uh, to you know, gather up some funds because you know these things aren't free. Um, you know, and just just read more details because I, I'm um, I'm I'm bad at remembering shit that I just heard yesterday. Like uh, some of you people. All right, so uh, I was I was clearly talking too long because logic just stopped me. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna sign off, guys. Um, remember, uh. Go to in go to fuck boy, fuck boy, uh, f u g b f u double g b o i d a v e on Instagram so you can find the Indiegogo link to go help out a fellow, a fellow, a fellow person. I was gonna say like American man, musician, uh, artist. Yeah, he's just a person. All right. Cause I'm I'm actually looking at his uh <laughs> his Instagram thing. He has like five different I guess occupations or whatever you want to call it. All right, this is enough talking. Thank you for listening. If you're still listening, uh, I love all of you, and uh, don't watch Fox News or CNN. Goodbye.